65. And all GCN listeners receive a bonus 16-ounce bottle of Ionic Silver absolutely free with free shipping. A $120 total value. Hurry, limited time offer. Call 803-794-4767 or click CompleteH2OMinerals.com. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here toll-free, 855-450-FREE is our number. Of course, lots to discuss here tonight. I did tease the Snoop Dogg story last night. Probably should talk about that at some point. Apparently, Snoop Dogg has uh, never heard about money being confiscated at airports. I don't Mm. know how you can be uh, in the, the marijuana scene as Snoop Dogg is. And not know that walking through an airport with two hundred thousand dollars in cash could be a problem. You uh, think Snoop Dogg really smokes marijuana? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> unless it's all for show. Unless he's got that fake stuff that the cops have. Uh, so you can comment here with you in the studio tonight. You've got me, Ian. I'm Taryn. <laughs> and me, Mark. All right. So uh, also we've got Skype. Skype username here is LRN dot FM. Uh, got some other police and marijuana-related news, including a story out of Santa Ana, California, where a video of a May raid on a medical marijuana dispensary went viral. The officers, some of whom wore masks when they initially broke down the door, were caught on video breaking security cameras, insulting a disabled patient at the clinic, and, to top it all off, consuming the shop's cannabis edibles. Nice. <laughs> no nom, way. Nom, nom. <laughs> Oh, what a man. bunch of hypocrites, man. Yeah. I mean, this is just the, this is like the lowest of the low here. I mean, you're taking medicine from sick people and then you're eating it in front of them. Well, they don't think it's medicine, um, and, but they, at the very least, what they're saying, at the very least, what they're saying is, is that we can do marijuana and you can't. And that's right. We're the professionals. We've been saying We're this trained. on Free Talk Live for some time. Is is that, you know, our complaint here is is that this is a this is a different class of people. They get away with different things. It is not professional courtesy for police officers to be able to do marijuana and have other police officers look the other way. Where are the good police, ladies and gentlemen? This wasn't one bad apple. This was a raid. The whole team I, of them. I remember the uh, the double standard. Do you remember a little while ago when um, they passed? A protection that allows uh, police officers to sleep with prostitutes. That that if was it in was, Hawaii, I believe. Yeah, the, the cops, the same stuff you would get arrested for, and, yeah. and oh, yeah. the the prostitute, no problem. You got a free pass. Go ahead and yeah. do it. Now, you, if if for whatever reason there's a hole in the story, right? Like Free Talk Live brings to the table a story where you have one police officer that's uh, done something bad, or maybe a couple of them, or something like that. You'll you'll find the cops supporters. Um, sure, they'll be out in, in force. Uh, the, at least a couple of them will call and say, why do you guys hate the police so much? Western civilization would crumble to the ground without them. And then, you know. I don't hate the police. I just like to make that clear. That's I really what they don't. say, though. And I, it's not that I hate police either. But I do hate corruption. Oh, yeah. And one thing's pretty clear is humans are very bad at fairness. They don't understand it. Sorry, they're a tribal primate. And well, once you give these, you know, one tribe, you tell them, hey, look, you guys, uh, you're in charge of enforcing the rules. Suddenly the rules don't apply to that group of primates anymore. This is, this is right here. This story just goes to show your bullcrap about the good cops doesn't stand. This is an entire SWAT team. They, they, you know, these guys are trained. They are promoted up into the SWAT team. Not everybody gets to go. One would think this would be the best of the best. Do, do you think that because there's so many SWAT teams now and they get so many toys from government money that they're just looking for stuff to do at this point? Well, I mean, the man they, with the hammer is looking for nails, yeah, that's right? That's what I'm wondering is how much, you know, how, how often they go after people for very minor offenses. Well, I can tell you, I worked in um, with law enforcers at, at one point, and it was uh, really fun to be on the you know the big insertion team. Um, that was a, an, an honor, and they'd practice and they'd do their stuff. And when it was time to do their thing, it was like, yeah, let's go. I'm yeah. watching the video of uh, this raid. It's over at the antimedia.org. We'll put the link up for you. 
uh, watching the cops smash and destroy cameras, eating the edibles, and coming in with guns drawn, you know, because what's going to happen exactly? You're at a cannabis, uh, medical cannabis facility. There's a woman in a wheelchair, like one of these motorized wheelchairs Mm -hmm. in here. Uh, Are the police really expecting the people who are running the, the cannabis distribution facility to draw down on them and have a gunfight? Over this? No, this but when they their... come in to, to do their thing now, it's always with guns in their hands. I'd just like to know, in the history of uh, in the history of police raids, right, there's a lot of police raids. 40,000, 50,000, I think might be the newer newer number, because it was 40,000 several per years year. ago. Per year. Of these, of these raids, mo- mostly for drugs. So what I want to know is, in the history, the decades that these police raids have gone on, of the times that they have raided a business... How many times have they actually had some business owner pull out and start blasting on them? Doesn't seem likely, does it? Not you'd be all over the news if it was, and I, I mean, don't remember hearing much yeah, about that. Yeah, unless we're talking about maybe you know there's like a meth facility and it's. I, I'm not talking about like an actual like a front for some sort of hard drug manufacturing. I mean a business which is open to yeah. the public and like, like this one, the raw milk people when they came in and you know. Great example. But the full SWAT team with rifles yeah. to stop milk. Because the idea behind having the SWAT team, at least initially, when they were first created, what was it, the early 80s or something like that when those when those came out, uh, the idea was that, well, the police could be getting into some sort of a hostage situation, and so you got to have body armor, you got to have fancier guns, you got to have a guy with a sniper rifle, you got to have uh, the, you know, the armored personnel carrier. Because it was the idea was you were going into a uh, inherently dangerous situation. Now it's I don't, also imp- yeah, yeah. I'm, God, I'm sorry. No, I was sorry. just gonna say I just don't think that this as has ever been a dangerous situation. Yeah, ever. The, the um, raiding you know, the, a business. The argument is as well if it saves just one police officer's brave, mm. just paladin of justice live, then it's worth it. But that's bullcrap because all you have to do is take a look at. Remember, these people are paid to put themselves in harm's way uh, for you. So you know that's their job to get uh, to be in harm's way. But you no, know what's not. important to uh, notice here is is that people are harmed. Innocent people are harmed in SWAT raids all the time. Sure, they they go into people's houses with the wrong address and shoot them. They that, kill their dogs. The dogs. They blow the faces off of their babies. They shot a dentist who was running an office pool in the back of the head while That's they right. had him handcuffed. The, um, you know, Insane. these guys can't be trusted with their guns. If you're going to give them a circumstance where they're going to use, you know, be holding guns in their hands, at the very least, make it important enough that collateral damage is acceptable. Because most of these raids... It's just not worth it. A knock on the door. In this case, you don't have to knock on the door. Maybe a dispensary, they might have a, uh, might have to buzz you in. But a knock on the door, that's really all it takes. I'm curious Absolutely. that, you know, how many times, because this happens all over the place, do police come break apart a place and uh, actually pay back and say, you know, we'll clean that up? <laughs> Almost Sorry. never. Has that ever happened? It will. It does happen every now and then. If it's like the wrong house or something. If they get the wrong house, sometimes they'll make. uh, They'll make. They'll be like, oh, we'll put a door back on that cost a thousand dollars and that kind of thing. um, And they will sometimes. We've seen that happen, so that does happen sometimes. But that doesn't take away the trauma. They did, by the way, uh, make a settlement in the baby boo boo case. Uh, The the kid's face that they blew off. Did they? In what was the Georgia. settlement there? Oh, now you're asking me to come. I don't have the story <laughs> sitting was in front of me. Was it in the me. millions? I don't know the answer to that. But that's was, a, it was a horrible story. I mean, it was a horrible story, and they were uh, being very careful about how they, um, you know, they handled it uh, from a legal standpoint. So you know, this is what happened. This raid happened, and it's just so it's terrible that this is continuing, right? I mean, this is California, Santa Ana, California, where this raid happened. So what was the reason for it? Uh, and apparently, it's California police doing the raid. So what was the rationale behind that? Uh, Toll free numbers 855-453. Well, now there's more about this. The city and its police are in the news again. This time because three unnamed police officers and the Santa Ana Police Officer Association are now suing to keep the video evidence from Santa Ana Police Internal Affairs investigators who are conducting an examination of what happened during the raid. So to keep the video evidence from the investigators. Uh, said Mike Pappas, the owner of the Sky High Dispensary, rated on my, uh, May 26, quote, it's pretty pathetic for police to say if we don't like something that it can't be used as evidence. 
However, the attorney for the police filing the suit claims Pappas altered the video to make it look more damning than it actually was. Come back with more well, here. Yeah, Lewis. it didn't all happen in uh, two minutes. I mean, you know... <laughs> Come yeah, on. Of course, we'll, it's edited. We'll come back with more here in moments. Uh, 855, 450 free. Sure did look like they really came in with guns drawn. It's Free Talk Live. If you could choose any school in the country to earn your college degree and be on your way to a better life, would you choose one the Wall Street Journal recognizes as producing some of the best qualified graduates? Or one the Princeton Review ranks as a leader in undergraduate education? Or maybe one the U.S. News & World Report names among the most innovative schools in the country? Now, you don't have to choose. At Arizona State University, we want to help you learn to thrive in life. At ASU Online, we offer over 100 graduate and undergraduate programs on your time and schedule. You receive the exact same curriculum, degree, and prestigious faculty as the on-campus students, and we're universally recognized as one of the innovators in online learning technologies. For information, call 1-800-595-9736. U.S. News & World Report ranked ASU in the top 10 best places to earn an online degree. So learn to thrive with ASU Online. Call today at 1-800-595-9736. That's 1-800-595-9736. Thousands of people seeking home security get ripped off every day. And the home security industry wants you to believe that's your only option. They've got hordes of salesmen out there trying to scare you into signing one of their long-term contracts. You get stuck writing huge checks month after month with no way out. It's robbery by contract, and it can cost you thousands. But there's a better way to protect your home. Simply Safe Home Security. Simply Safe has no contracts, none. You'll get award-winning 24-7 protection, security professionals watching over your home, ready to instantly send police to the rescue for just $14.99. Per month. That's less than half what most companies charge. Protect your home the smart way. Visit simplysafedefense.com today for an exclusive 10% offer and get a free keychain remote worth $25. Only when you go to simplysafedefense.com. Simplysafedefense.com. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Did you know that drinking pure, high alkaline water is one of the most important factors in maintaining high energy and vibrant health? Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops, available only at AlkaVision.com, combine a unique formula of only the most alkaline minerals. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops alkalize your water, ridding the body of harmful toxins, and helps you regain health and energy. Alkalizing your water by simply adding 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps Helps the body rid itself of acidic waste, increases oxygen content, and raises the pH of your body to healthy levels. And bacteria and viruses cannot survive in an alkaline high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops for only $29.95 at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live, and of course you can join us toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Maybe you think that the marijuana shop should be raided. Because apparently it's still happening in California. Now we're By California 20- police. Yeah, we're 20, almost 20 years 
into the medical marijuana program in California. It was wow. 1996. Been that long, and yeah. are the are they saying it's a federal raid or no? These are state guys, right? So they're not. They're state. So what's I'm the excuse? Not clear. I'm not clear on on what their reasoning was for this. Uh, maybe we'll we'll try to figure that out. But going on here, uh, I want to get your comments if you want to join us. Our toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Our Skype is Skype username lrn fm. You want to get Bitcoin? How about Litecoin, Dogecoin? It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive by uh, using ExpressCoin, the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies, ExpressCoin.com, licensed money services business, and you can get cryptocurrencies with money order or check. Just get started at ExpressCoin.com, whether you're in the U.S. or Canada. Again, that's ExpressCoin.com. You can do it from your smartphone by downloading their app. Just go to ExpressCoin.com and use coupon code FTL to get uh, up to $40 worth of of your preferred cryptocurrency with no fee, no transfer fee at all, when you use code FTL, like Free Talk Live, at ExpressCoin.com. The great thing about the Ex ExpressCoin is is uh, not only do can you trust them, because we've done lots of business with them, but they yes. really have uh, great fees. And that's what it matters. You buy low, you sell high. That's how you make money in this world. So ExpressCoin.com. All right, so back to the story here from the antimedia.org, talking about Santa Ana, California police who made headlines with a May raid on a medical marijuana dispensary. The raid video went viral, and now the police are suing their own department <laughs> to keep the video evidence from the internal affairs investigators who are conducting an examination of what happened during the raid. Now, you know, on its face, that doesn't seem like it's going to fly. I mean, the it, internal investigations or internal affairs, they need to have access to evidence like this. I'm really interested to know the basis on which, you know, the legal claims that their attorney is making as to why. They make all kinds of legal yeah. claims. Yeah, and they get away with a people lot of do. stuff in court where they won't let people produce evidence that is clearly, you know, in your favor. Like, um, like what with the... The Albert trial, you know, where no doubt, but that was that like, wasn't we're cop versus let you. cop, Taryn. I yeah, mean, that's that's, that's a good when point. it's cops versus but you. You're saying oh, on what basis are they doing it? And it's yeah. a lawyer's mm. job to figure out some wild basis to do it. I know. I just want to hear what it is. Hopefully, they won't get away with it. But um, you know, nonetheless, that's their the lawyer's job to do that. The man who t uh, filed the suit against the city of Santa Ana, the, att the attorney on behalf of the. Uh, Santa Ana Police Officers so Association and the three unnamed officers in question, he says, quote, the attorney representing the drug dispensary intentionally has misrepresented what happened. Uh, this is Corey Glaive. That's his name. And according to the story here, Glaive alleges the video footage is invalid because it was taken without the police officer's knowledge and was handled by Pappas, among others, Pappas being the store owner of Sky High Dispensary, uh, handled by Pappas, among others, prior to being made public. He alleged Pappas altered the video, and Pappas did indeed edit the video to make a highlight reel of the cops' offenses during the raid, but he has also released the full unedited video to both the Santa Ana police and the local newspaper, the OC Register, so smart move on his part to not just give that video over to the police. Yeah. Uh, even so, Glaive argues in the lawsuit the following, quote, all police personnel present had a reasonable expectation that their conversations were no longer being recorded and the undercover officers, feeling they were safe to do so, removed their masks. So these guys... So they want to keep this video from going to the internal investigations unit. They want to keep the faces of... An, of uh, you know, undercover agents away from the internal investigations unit. It's incredible what they're saying here. None of this makes any sense. Well, I could see them trying to spin an argument that, you know, these are undercover guys and now you can see their faces in the video, but... But not to the internal investigations well, that's true. unit. They work in the same building. Well, right. That's not, that's obviously not the <laughs> reason point. for it. Good the point. reason I is... I keep forgetting that this is between cops. This is, hasn't come out yet. Yeah. The, the reason for this is they don't want them to see the evidence, right? I mean, they just... This is the evidence yes, of absolutely. what they did. And they don't want IA uh, to see any of it. I mean, they, Ian was showing us the video and they're eating the brownies and then playing darts. And, and then they're laughing they're nom, darts nom, nom. while they're, they're in a raid. <laughs> yeah. They stop hey, watch this. throw darts. And they, I mean, they took multiple shots like they were having a game. It's crazy. Uh, all police personnel had the reasonable expectation their conversations were no longer being recorded. These guys really botched it up. And I'd like to just, you know, point out 
they shouldn't be doing this, but they have done it. Like here in the raid that they did on the head shop here in town. There, that also happened. Uh, it was in May of last year, though. The local uh, fat stuff is what it's called. They were raided. PHT. PHAT. PHAT, yes. And they were raided, and they did steal the video surveillance system from Fat Stuff. So the DEA officers knew enough to to, uh, take the video surveillance. These uh, guys in California did not even think about that. And so they walked around with their, uh, you know, with their balaclavas taken off. During this, uh, during the raid. By the way, there was one of the undercover officers doing the very same thing. Actually, they, but there were at least two undercover officers doing the same thing here in uh, in Keene. They didn't. I guess they didn't feel like wearing their balaclavas through the entire raid. So when I was outside the store recording video of them from up high, they had tried to uh, put newspapers up all over the windows. So the in uh, downtown Keene, the head shop has big f- glass front windows where they do it's, glass blowing. Right. And there's also a display window as well, a very large window into the store. And so they had put up, taped up newspapers all over the front window in an attempt to stop people from watching them steal all this man's inventory, this family's inventory. It's a, a couple and some, some kids that you know, they own the store. And so they hadn't covered the entire of all of the windows. So I got up and sort of like raised my arms up and held the camera up as high as I could to try to record what was going on in there. And I was successful and I was able to record those undercover agents without their masks on. So it's their fault they took off their masks. It's not the man's fault for having a security system in his store. They don't deserve anonymity if they're stupid enough to take their balaclavas off. But that's the argument that's being made in this lawsuit. And one thing's for sure, Mark, even if the suit isn't successful in the long run, it will be successful in the short run, at the very least, delaying the investigation. I don't know what benefit that will bring them. But it is going to likely delay Probably it until paychecks this. paychecks for a longer period of time. Um, they, that you could know, be true. They, they, they could conceivably be out on leave doing nothing um, and getting full pay. That happens all the time yep. for police. So, you know, six months of uh, six months extra pay for these guys is likely, I don't know, $50,000 a year, especially if you uh, figure in benefits. Believing they were safe to do so, says the article at theantimedia.org, the officers went on to insult a patient who was present when they initially broke down the door. In the video footage, they are seen investigating the shop after the patients had left when one officer asks another, quote, Did you punch that one-legged old Benita? Oh, God. The female officer responds, I was about to kick her in her effing nub. Man. Referring wow. to the disabled woman in a wheelchair that was in the shop when the raid was initiated. We'll continue with more of these wonderful stewards of the public safety. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. It's amazing they can take the word beautiful and make it an into an insult. <laughs> We're going to come back with more here. We've also got Skype. Skype on in here at username lrn.fm. More about this particular raid because they're all bad. It's Free Talk Live coming up healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. Are you excited about the World Wide Web? Do you want a place where you can share your ideas and express yourself? Well, dial up your modems and stream on down to the GCN Live Community Forum. Lots of radical features await you there. Wow, Internet guy. I am so glad I went to the GCN Live Community Forum. You too can discover why the World Wide Web is awesome. Just go to GCNlive.com slash forum. That's GCNlive.com slash forum. I'll see you in cyberspace. Space. Friend at GCN Live on Diasora and Cross.tv. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's 
provides what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting goberkey.com or call me the Berkey guy at 877-886-3653 that's 877-886-3653 hi this is walt augustinowitz i'm the founder and ceo of id stronghold by now you've heard our commercials about wallets that protect you from electronic pickpocketing 10 years ago i created a way to protect my own cards from prying eyes after government officials started talking about issuing a national id card with a built-in radio chip called rfid i felt having to broadcast my personal information was an invasion of privacy Soon after, it was also announced that credit cards, debit cards, U.S. passports, hotel room keys, and even transit passes would all soon incorporate RFID. It was then I formed ID Stronghold to share my inventions in blocking RFID signals with the world. There are a lot of misconceptions out there today about RFID. I encourage everyone to get informed and get protected. Please go to IDStronghold.com and get the facts and the wallet, sleeves, or badge holders you need to protect your personal financial data. You'll be pleasantly surprised that through our direct sales model, you won't pay more than other comparable unprotected wallets. It is as though the protection is free. Visit IDStronghold.com today. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state in back taxes, you know they'll never stop coming after you. With bank levies, wage garnishments, they'll even seize your home or business. The good news? A government program for tax debt forgiveness. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative. I'm Paul Sibley. With U.S. Tax Shield, we can help navigate the new laws, get you protected, and resolve your tax issues permanently. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield now for your free consultation and get a guaranteed quote to resolve your case. Call 800-436-6451. That's 800-436-6451. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Back now with more Free Talk Live. We've got time for you to join us here, 855-453. 855-450-3733. How about a police officer? You know, there are some people out there that are upset that we talk about uh, the, the police, some of the things that they do here. How about an officer who says this, referring to a disabled woman in a wheelchair that was in a marijuana shop, a marijuana medical marijuana facility in California, I was about to kick her in the effing nub, said one female officer when asked, did you punch that one-legged old Benita? Is asked by another officer. This was after the woman had left the store, so they didn't say it in front of her, uh, but they did say it. And this was when they were raiding this medical marijuana facility, which ultimately now those police are trying to get this video footage, which came from the store surveillance system. They're trying to prevent it from going to the Internal Affairs Department. So they're actually suing them and the police union are suing to protect them from the footage, you know, pr- protect the uh, IA department from even being able to see it in the first place. And that's what's going on here. You can share your thoughts at 855 free. In spite of the officer's disrespectful language, destruction of private property, and the consumption of the cannabis products, uh, Glaive, that's their attorney, vehemently maintains that the store owner lacked consent to film them. Quote, without the illegal recordings... There would have been no internal investigation of any officer. <laughs> that much is true. You if we this? didn't have evidence that our officers act like a bunch of bullies and thieves, there would be no case against them as bullies and I thieves mean- <laughs> because people refuse to call officers bullies and thieves without undeniable evidence. So please, let's throw out the undeniable evidence. Right. Solid logic. Solid. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> 
That, you know, that, that they're so brazen as to just literally come right out and throw it in your face. Well, oh, yeah, if this evidence didn't exist, our officers would be fine, and, and no one so, would have believed the story that they called this woman, uh, you know, they referred to her as a nub and talked about wanting to uh, kick her in it. And how many, how many raids do you think this stuff goes on at? I bet most Constant. of them. This most is, of them. I mean, this, this is, is the one that got caught on film. Right. I mean, these guys have raided a place before, and so you know they behaved in the same way. Uh, they're behaving this way around a large group of officers. This isn't like a couple cops. It's only three of them who are involved in the suit, but there were certainly more than three that were involved in the raid itself. And they didn't arrest these guys either. Um, so what did they do the raid over? That's a real sort of question that's uh, hanging out there for me. Um, I'm, you know, marijuana is basically legal in California. What were they doing that raid over? And I think that other people probably, you know, the okay. respectables who are listening are probably saying, why should I care? This was on a marijuana shop. Those people get what they get. They're drug smokers. So I have the answer for you. According to NBC LA, Santa Ana Mayor Miguel Pulido was named in a suit along with a city employee and the city itself. It alleges the city has solicited $25,000 payments and gifts from mar uh, marijuana dispensaries, which would guarantee businesses would be granted a license in a lottery system. It also claims police were used to shut down operations that did not pay up. So apparently they were targeted because they didn't pay a $25,000 bribe mm. to the city. Yep. Well, that is the way the mafia works. It's for your protection. <laughs> for your protection. I don't know. I still wonder to myself whether the, uh, just the normal folks that listen to talk radio, you know, and there's a lot of them out there, tend to be older folks. They uh, they tend to be sort of, uh, you know, people that are uh, less likely to get arrested, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what do they think about that? Oh, really? It's, it's a, well, it's a marijuana shop that didn't pay its bribe to the government. I guess that's okay. Um, and then the cops came in and uh, insulted a crippled woman and, uh, you know, acted like a bunch of juveniles and ate a bunch of uh, illegal items. I don't know. What does the average person I, think? Because I can tell you that when we talk about other stories regarding the police, oftentimes people call in and say, we hate the police. Now, I wouldn't claim that. I would claim that it's the job of a free press in a free country to report on what the government does, that this is supposed to be the fourth column, that we are supposed to hold the three branches of government responsible to the people. That's what I would claim, but people don't want, actually want to hear news about what their government does wrong, especially their government agents like police, firefighters, and soldiers. Yep, you'll show this video and they'll be like, oh, well, those are just three corrupt guys. That that That's just a really oddball case. That never happens. Three corrupt guys that a bunch of people, the bunch of other police just didn't do anything about. Yep. So according to uh, the NBC Los Angeles Post, it looks like the, the, the store, uh, Sky High Holistic, is actually suing the Santa Ana mayor as well as a city employee, and another city employee, and the city itself. And it is the suit that is alleging these $25,000 bribes were being demanded as well as gifts from the dispensaries. Uh, Matthew Pappas, who's representing the raided shop, said, quote, It's deplorable that city officials and people seeking financial gain would use the police to accomplish their self-serving goals. <laughs> so, which, really? <laughs> however, the mayor has fired back, saying the claims in the suit are categorically and unequivocally false. There is no money. There is no influencing any process in any manner. I think uh, that uh, Pappas is trying, that's the store owner, is trying to protect his client and trying just to keep operating illegally. Sometimes the best offense is offense, said the mayor. So that's the claim. The claim is that the dispensary was not legally operating. That's what the city is going to say. The dispensary well, is saying that uh, the city was demanding these bribes, and so we didn't I, want to pay them. I wonder how many times the city has used a SWAT team to shut down other people who didn't get their business license correctly. Because this is based ultimately what it is, is a $25,000 business license. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, are they uh, running into, you know, somebody's sign shop and shutting them down, or somebody's, uh, you know place that makes business cards and well, with a SWAT team? It's not real clear that this $25,000 is on the books anywhere, right? Like, this mm. may not actually be the price of uh, the business license. I thought license. that was, you know, there's all these special taxes and fees that go on to marijuana that's not on anything else. Like, I know a guy that had a chain of, uh, I think, six marijuana plants out in Colorado. In, uh, dispensaries? Dispensaries, excuse me, not plants. Uh, dispensaries and the fees were insane that he owned six shops and he still only made profit $30,000 a year. 
I mean, so, because he was just fleeced. This is going to be an interesting suit, and I'm I'm hoping somebody out there in the in the area in the Santa Ana area can kind of keep us in the loop as to how it develops, because they're what they're alleging here is that there's a lottery system to being given licenses. Like, well, we've decided in the city of Santa Ana that there will only be twenty marijuana dispensary licenses. And given as we've already given away uh, the other 15 of them, we're going to lottery the remaining five. And so everybody who wants a license, all right, you can uh, put your name in that hat over there, and we're going to pick that name mm. out. Uh, by the way, psst, you give us $25,000. And, and you uh, will be in. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go, right? Now, that's what's going on here. So what wait, evidence wait, do they have? That's the claim of what's going on here. But um, this business is open, right? Like, would you open a marijuana? You would. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Would anybody besides you open a marijuana dispensary in California without a license already? So, yeah, I don't know. under what pretenses did they open it? Is this an annual license that they can mm. then yank out know. from underneath it's not somebody? Clear. That's not clear in these these news stories that uh, that I have. But nonetheless, I mean, clearly they're serving customers. There were customers in the store. They're doing, you know, obviously we don't care if whether they got the license or not. If you're just going to if you want to open your business without a license, you've got my blessing. I mean, uh, please do. That's that's freedom. You what, shouldn't have to beg permission to run a business. What do you fellas think um because there's like a gold rush going on right now when the states make marijuana legal a Farmers pop up everywhere. Yeah, sure. Make some money, but then the big boys wait and then start to roll in. I would think. I mean, don't you think like who are the big boys? You talking I about? I would like think like uh, Phillips Morris? Morris or something like that. Once they realize that they can play ball, um, I would think that they're gonna just roll in and take over. I don't know if they're not established at the ground floor. Um, they may, you know, they may be able to pay their way in, but um, Philip Morris is off in uh, North Carolina or something like South Carolina. It's not like they're going to... I'm wondering, because there's this like gold rush going on right now, how long yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah, last. Yeah. Of Well, they haven't made the move yet. I mean, they could set up a grow facility. It's, you know, I mean, they've certainly got the money to do it. Did, what did they do with e-cigs? Did they move into e-cigs? They are. Yeah, they yeah. are in e-cigs. So that kind of makes me think that and they now, would move into marijuana. And now they're pushing for regulations of e-cigs yeah, as well. so they could be the only guys. Yeah, exactly. 855-450 free. We'll continue with more on this raid uh, by the police that is now resulting in multiple lawsuits, including the police suing themselves. It's Free Talk Live. We'll continue in moments. <laughs> Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while. But once that embarrassing thing is on the internet, it can spread like a terrible rash. Put it to rest. Get a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. We protect your online image by helping to make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. 
Affordable health insurance was the promise of Obamacare, but for many, the government mandate caused more problems than it solved. And I want to tell you about a truly affordable alternative, Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare bypasses doctor and hospital panels, giving you the freedom to choose. 100% coverage up to $1 million per year per occurrence, which includes dental, vision, pharmacy, and holistic care. Call one 800 7 Hello, Dustin. Hey. Hi there. Uh, where are you calling? Hi, uh, you are way too loud, by the way. I, I apologize. I'm. I gotta move to somewhere else. I apologize. Um, I'm calling from uh, Lincoln County, North Carolina. All right. And uh, I sent you uh, a link about the issue, but basically, it's uh, uh, we had a county commissioner, the chair of the county commission here in Lincoln County, that. Uh, went on a really hateful tirade back in May saying that there would be no non-Christian prayers oh, no, to open little, county business. Sorry about that. Uh, sounds good. Stand by. You're sounding better now. Be right with you. Okay. And sense of well-being. One World Way tastes delicious and comes in single servings. Call 888-988-3325 or visit oneworldway.com. That's One World. W-H-E-Y dot com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Katie offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KatiArmor.com. Come and take it. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. We're back with more. You can join us toll-free at 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. With you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian. Taryn P. Lupo. And King Mark. More coming up here in moments about the police who are now suing themselves. (laughs) This story is just awesome. Yeah, they're suing themselves. It just keeps on giving, doesn't it? (laughs) Yeah. uh, Because they're being investigated for being really naughty boys. We'll tell you more about that here in moments. Uh, Also, I want you to know about Purse, where you can literally go and save 20% off of anything on Amazon. Maybe even more than that. 20% is the average that people in the United States save on purse. But this isn't just a U.S. thing. Anybody anywhere in the world, as long as you can receive packages from Amazon, you can do purse. And so I'm pretty sure that's most of the world because I don't know of anywhere Amazon won't ship to. Maybe there's some place that, you know, UPS, DHL, and FedEx won't reach. Uh, but I don't know where that is. So wherever you are, you can use Purse, and it's an awesome service because it, well, it actually does what it promises it'll do. You really do save 20, 25, maybe even more percentage off of whatever you want to buy through Amazon. The trick is you have to pay with Bitcoin. So if you have Bitcoin and you've been looking for a reason to spend it, now you've got it. 20% off Amazon. In fact, I'm uh, looking to buy some new. I've been tinkering away with some of the servers in the studio here today, and I need some fans. I need some new uh, server fans, so I'm, I'm going to put those on purse. I, they're not urgent, so uh, I can afford to wait a little bit to get the discount. I love purse. I've totally, in the last month, I've uh, heard these ads, you know, Ian talking about it, and I finally did it, and now I'm ordering probably three or four things a week. It's awesome service. I just bought a hard drive, 25% off. Why not? I mean, I there's mean, just no reason not yeah, to do this. I feel like I'm stealing money or something. It's great. Th- this is, <laughs> purse is so good. It's, it's awesome. a reason to get Bitcoin. If you have been sitting out there saying, yeah, I don't know about this Bitcoin because it could lose value or whatever. Well, just get the Bitcoin, then spend it at purse. That's it. You don't have to, you don't even really have to hold on to it that long. Just hold, you know, get, get it, hold it long enough to where you can then go spend it at purse and you'll get 20% off. So start up over at purse.freetalklive.com. That's purse dot freetalklive.com as we go to dustin on the line in uh was it north carolina dustin you're on free talk live hey guys how are you doing today hey you're on skype go ahead 
All right. Um, I wanted to call to talk to you and kind of update you, actually. I called May to tell you about the uh, big county commissioner that we had that decided to go on a tirade against anybody who was not Christian and uh, said that he would never allow a non-Christian prayer to take place in Lincoln County. Yeah, I think I remember your call. Well, uh, we kind of got an, yeah, an iffy Skype connection here, but I remember you had talked about this where they, you know, it's one of those uh, county commission meeting things where they lead with a prayer in the very beginning, and uh, you wanted equal time, right, for uh, for your beliefs? Well, for everybody, really. Yeah. I had actually proposed an interfaith prayer, um, and they drafted a decision basically said that any religious leader in the county would be able to give a prayer. And since there are many minority religions that don't have a house of worship in the county, like Muslims, Jews, Baha'i, etc., I worked with uh, a Wiccan priest named uh, Tony, and he and I formed the Foothills Interfaith Assembly. And we constructed our mission statement so that we matched what the Lincoln County government said they would recognize as a house of worship. <laughs> this is getting good. Yep. Well, Monday night, I gave the invocation as a Muslim. I read the first chapter of the Quran <laughs> in clear English. Okay. And uh, the bigoted county commissioner walked out. Didn't like that, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, he uh, he said he was going to do it, and um, he did it. And the <laughs> other county commissioners were really mad at him for it, and they said it was disrespectful. Yeah, and it was. that in order to prevent any disrespect to religion, that they would change it to a moment of silence, no more prayers. So um, because this guy treated uh, um, Islam uh, rudely, they've decided to uh, punish the, uh, the the people giving the prayers by making it a moment of silence. Is yeah. that the idea? Yeah. Well, basically, it's the same thing uh, apparently because one of our board members movement. can't act like an adult, we're going to have to uh, you know have kids time. <laughs> it does open a floodgate, though. Exactly. Oh, I don't I mean, disagree. It it could just get ridiculous for how many people want to say their prayer. Yeah, but they only get one per session, so it's oh, not is that like, it? It's, it's not, not like, like each person yep. can do a yeah, prayer. You go. You would go one week, Taryn, and then no, Mark would go another up. week. Oh, okay. You sign up and get a, a spot. Yeah. So no, this was just their way. This was their way of. On one hand, making it look like to the people who are paying attention, making it look like they actually were chastising their uh, their cohort, right? Like, oh, that was very just. Dis- look, Mr. Smith, that was very disrespectful. We'll make sure that Mr. Smith is more in line in the future because we'll just get rid of this whole prayer thing. And yeah. so, basically, the first right. time there was a prayer that was outside of the Christian norm uh, was the last time. I don't right. understand why Christians and, um, are so threatened. Like, if you're a good Christian, why do you care if somebody reads from another book for good a few minutes? Question. I, uh, you know, I mean, does it challenge your faith to hear this other message? Because the, I guess the idea of those people are going your to hell. Adjective good is what's key there. What's that? The adjective good is what's key there. Oh, good the good Christian. Book. I don't think any good Christian has a problem with it. Yeah. So, I'd Dustin, right. do you consider this a victory? Yeah. Um, yes and no. Um, it, it was a victory in so much that, you know, it, it's kind of like unlocking the door. It's happened. For the first time in county history, a non-Christian led um, a, an invitation for, for government business. Um, and it, so it was done publicly. It's created a huge discussion. And so now the interfaith discussion and interfaith dialogue can really take place and we can start uh, evolving our understanding of each other. And perhaps in a few years time after we vote uh, Carol Mitchum out of office and uh, we get some uh, clear thinking individuals to take his place, then uh, we'll be able to reinstate uh, a venue where everybody is represented. Yeah, but you, but all of them. But how many of them are there? Three? Did you say? Three selectmen. Five. Five of them. So one of them walks out, and the other four voted unanimously to get rid of prayers. Yes. Well, it sounds to me like you're going to have to overturn the entire board if you want to bring that back. 
I, I think, uh, quite frankly, there's two individuals on the board that I am very certain if the others were not there, that they would have no problem reinstating prayer. So they just go along. They'll flip with whatever the majority's doing? Um, no, it's like I understand um, Commissioner Patton, it, he, he had a good rationale. I understand his rationale, but I think it was timed incorrectly. The way it was timed, it became uh, a scenario like with the civil rights movement when department stores were told, hey, you have to serve black people at your lunch counter. And then they said, well, we'll just tear out the lunch counter. We didn't mm -hmm. need that anyway. Well, I mean, what was your goal uh, in this? Was your goal to just point out the hypocrisy and uh, and you're kind of happy with this outcome? Or would you really want to express no. a different religious view there? Actually, my my goal is always dialogue, because I think the more that we express one another's beliefs to each other, we learn from each other, and, and knowledge is power. And when knowledge is dispersed to the people, then, uh, then people can become more powerful by uniting with each other. Good That's call tonight, Dustin. I, I appreciate hearing from you. Thanks yeah. for sharing that story. Uh, you know, I don't think it's going to come back. I don't really care. I think a moment of silence is superior. Right. And I, that's what I was going to say was I think that if you're going to try to bring back prayer, you're going to be going up against all the people who are going to argue, wait a minute, there should be a separation of church and state. And so I don't think it's likely to come back at all. But, but this you know. is the good old boy South, Ian. That's a whole that's different true. story down there. Yeah, that is it's, true. By the way, this is uh, it's clearly this moment of silence is a bow to the Quakers who uh, actually worship in silence. Um, this is just, <laughs> it's just a Quaker <laughs> prayer. And, uh, you know, the Quakers are well represented at their meeting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good story, though, and it's very similar to what happened in Oklahoma. If you recall, the uh, Satanic Temple recently made headlines oh, yeah. when they revealed their Baphomet statue, this nine-foot-tall, uh, very fancy-looking uh, scul sculpture of this goat man, basically. They revealed that in Detroit. The Baphomet statue was originally created when they were going to be putting it in the Oklahoma State House or at the on the State House grounds because there was a Ten Commandment statue there, which was donated by a Christian group. And then the Ten, Com Ten Commandment statue was ordered removed because they weren't going to allow any statues there, which is how they prevented the Baphomet statue from showing up in the first place. So same sort of tactics here. 855 450 free searching for your soulmate someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the nsa stop searching with easy dns you found a keeper easy dns does it all domain names web hosting and managed wordpress hosting easy dns stands up for your internet freedom and with servers in canada they do not cooperate with the nsa go to easydns.com you'll love their services or get a full refund they guarantee it and they accept bitcoin that's easydns.com for over 75 years, Geico's kept an eye on the future, keeping customers happy with things like 24-7 customer support and emergency roadside service. And to prove it, here's one of our commercials from over 75 years ago. At Geico, we promise to always find innovative new ways to serve you. In fact, we're so innovative, in 75 years, they'll listen to this old radio commercial and think, wow, they were innovative. Wow, we are innovative. Geico, saving people money for over 75 years. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. The Costa Report on the future of talk radio. GCN.
With SRN News, I'm Keith Peters in Washington. President Obama is warning that if Congress torpedoes the Iran nuclear deal, sanctions will unravel, Tehran will speed up its nuclear program, and either he or a future president will have to consider military strikes to prevent an Iranian bomb. Let's not mince words. The choice we face is ultimately between diplomacy or some form of war. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not three months from now, but soon. But Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Bob Corker says a closed-door meeting with the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency today did not ease his mind about the Iranian nuclear deal, and he says he's not alone. The majority of members here left with far more questions than they had before the meeting took place more skepticism relative to the thoroughness. Also at SRNnews.com in a suburb of Nashville today, a man doused some moviegoers with pepper spray, apparently injured one with a hatchet, shot at an officer, and died after a confrontation with a SWAT team. Nashville police spokesman Don Aaron says the suspect was shot dead by police. The suspect who is, uh, I am told, was wearing a surgical mask, came out of the back door of the theater. Metro police officers at the back of the theater, of this Mad Max theater outside, engaged him. He was shot, fatally wounded, and has been pronounced deceased here at the scene. No motive has been established, and the gunman, a 51-year-old man, has not been identified. Malaysia says the wing fragment found on a remote French island in the western Indian Ocean is from Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 that vanished last year. Experts in France say it's likely the part came from the plane. On Wall Street, the down by 10 points, the Nasdaq rose 34, the S&P advanced 6, crude oil down 59 cents to 45.15 a barrel. This is SRN News. An attorney spokesperson, Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm, with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisements. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, this is an important announcement for anyone who had surgery to implant a blood clot device. If you or a loved one had a surgery in the past 10 years and your doctor used an IVC filter to trap blood clots, call 800-770-3234 right now. These devices can be life-threatening, and you may be entitled to cash compensation. The FDA is evaluating adverse events caused by these blood clot devices, which can lead to serious injury and even death. These devices could break and lead to serious injury. Please call 800-770-3234 now. Time is limited. Call 800-770-3234 if you or a loved one has one of these dangerous blood clot devices, as you may be entitled to a cash award and compensation. Our toll-free phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-770-3234. That's 800-770-3234. 800-770-3234. Friends of a father and his daughter killed in Monday night's circus tent collapse in New Hampshire are mourning the two today. Julie Donahue, principal of the Concord School, says the deaths of the little girl and her father in the circus tent tragedy have hit the small town of Concord, Vermont, hard. It's horrifying. I think the... Our whole community is just really reeling from this. But Donahue says a fund she set up to help the family has already gathered thousands, all in small donations. People are giving $5, $15, whatever they can spare. And it just shows, you know, the resilience of our community and the fact that, you know, this tragic event really has shown that people really truly care and have come together. It's been incredible. Both of the youngs died when the circus tent collapsed as 60-mile-an-hour winds raked the Lancaster, New Hampshire fairgrounds where Walker International Events was putting on the show. This is SRN News. Ten Republican candidates for president in 2016 will debate Thursday for the first time. The event, hosted by Fox News, will take place in Cleveland, Ohio. Political analyst Justin Buechler an associate professor at Case Western Reserve University, says it will be interesting to watch how the other candidates handle Donald Trump. He is leading in the polls. Nobody who is a serious analyst expects him to get the nomination. And the question is how he gets taken down. Trump right now holds a considerable lead in the polls over his next closest GOP rival, Jeb Bush. A leading food industry group says it will ask the Food and Drug Administration to partially exempt hundreds of foods from the phase-out of artificial trans fats. The FDA said in June that it's requiring food companies to largely rid their foods of the artery-clogging fats over the next three years. More details at SRNnews.com. I'm Keith Peters in Washington. 
Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us toll free. I gotta remember old Zeus is there. I'm new to this <laughs> intro bed with Zeus is the guy with the Free Talk Live. That guy, yeah. the guy with the deep voice. Yeah. I've met him in real life, and he, really, yeah, he has a, he is a tall uh, big he's man. Pretty, he's pretty tall and big, okay. and he takes up a lot of space, right? Yep. And and got a full beard. So anyway, uh, well, his yeah. name's Zeus. Zeus, Zeus I mean, you, yeah. you're allowed to wear a beard. Our yeah. toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. We're going to talk a little bit more about some crazy news in the marijuana world, specifically police officers raiding a marijuana facility in California and then suing their own department because they want to prevent internal affairs from investigating them for doing naughty things. And then also on the way, uh, Snoop Dogg, Apparently doesn't know how to travel safely with $200,000. Uh, we'll, we'll give him some tips here in a little bit. Uh, Toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. With you in the studio, you've got Ian. Taryn P. Lupo. And Mark. Dave is also on the line with us. He's in Poughkeepsie. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Hi, guys. How you doing? What's on your mind, Dave? All right. Um, I got into a heated discussion with a, a certain DJ... Uh, last night about recording radio shows, and I kept telling him, uh, his, his name is uh, Bob in the Black Boots, and he is from X Transmission FM, and he, he kind of, uh, me and him were talking on Twitter last night, like, because like, he hosts a, uh, like a radio show over on X Transmission FM. Is that a website? Okay, that's a website. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. It's, Was it's, this a, a rock a and roll? What is he, what kind of uh, show is he hosting? Uh, he, he does like a metal, like hardcore metal, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And, you know, I was talking to him on Twitter last night, and I, I got banned from the chat room, whatever, because you know, they Dude, said, oh, shocking. You Wait a minute. You were banned <laughs> from the chat room. Why is that? They basically don't want me recording their shows and putting it up on uh, SoundCloud, MixCloud, YouTube, because, you know, he, he wants to record it, and then he wants to post it himself rather than me recording mm -hmm. it and, you know, posting on MixCloud. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, you know, because I, 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 I talk to Free Talk Live every every night, and Free Talk Live, they, they, I'm like, well, Free Talk Live does not care if you record their shows. It's true. It we YouTube, don't. SoundCloud, but we're MixCloud. pretty unusual, Dave. I mean, a lot of these guys out there, they believe in this intellectual property nonsense. And they, uh, they're they pretty serious about it. Yeah, and, as though he's going to make one penny on putting this crap yeah. up. Because yeah, they, you they, can't, they right? Want, like, they're saying about stuff about, about, about like, music. But they're saying they don't want me, you know, opposing because, you know, because the uh, music artists, they won't get paid or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, you know, I, Free Talk Live, they don't care if you record the shows and put it on <laughs> SoundCloud or Mixed You don't or whatever, have you know? music artists who are on the show, right? Like, well, so Rebel no Inks on. Rebel Inc., but Rebel Inc. has already given us permission to they use have. the beds, and we have very uh, generous. Uh, yeah, we have uh, you know satisfied whatever obligation we have to them. So that uh, there is a bit of a difference there. Dave. There's a huge difference, Dave. Yeah, it's you, a huge difference. You're comparing talk radio to a music show, and they're giving you all kinds of reasons why they don't want you to record their show. How about you just you know respect that. Yeah, but how? Yeah, but you you guys allow allow anyone to record your show and put it on SoundCloud or MixCloud or whatever, you know. That's right, right. You are correct about that, Dave. <laughs> well, stop listening to these other uh, creepy pretenders. Yeah. Um, if, uh, if Free Talk Live isn't on, just go ahead and go to the archive section at archives.freetalklive.com, and you can, uh, you know, you can go ahead and do that. 
I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering why, you know, he, he was getting all mad or whatever, saying, oh, I, I, I you know, I, that I, feel, I, I got banned from the chat room, whatever. And I was. Now, you and I both know, Dave, you know, you and I both know the reason you were banned from the chat room isn't just because you're recording these guys' shows, <laughs> right? <laughs> No, it, it, it wasn't because you know he said, "Oh, I, 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 may, I because he thinks that I, I said a bad word or whatever." Yeah, which you definitely I, said some I, bad words. Look, I don't even what? have to be in the chat word. room to know because you've been in our chat room before. And, you've and been you've... on our BBS, and you've been banned on multiple occasions from both of those places. The BBS uh, administrators over at bbs.freetalklive.com have banned you multiple names. Because you'll come back and you'll make <laughs> new names. I haven't, so, I haven't been on there in months. You I get it, been, but I'm just explaining. Month. I'm not saying you're on there right now because they probably <laughs> won't stand for it. But I'm explaining yeah, to you I, I, why I know for opinion, a okay. fact. Thank you, Dave, for your call tonight. Does he have a bit I'm of exp- a potty mouth, or I'm exp- he's rude? He just he's just mean to people. <laughs> and this was know, the though. first thing. This was the first thing that he called us about like two years ago. <laughs> was that he was upset. Because he goes on to these forums and he was upset because people were making fun of him. But the thing he doesn't tell you about is that he goes there and makes fun of people. He's an incredible a-hole. Yeah, he goes there and is rude to people and makes fun of them. And then he gets upset when they give it back to him. And then they give it back to him ten times as much. Because, you know, he just doesn't give up. He'll keep coming back. <laughs> He's got nothing to do. Well, that's true. He, he gets a government to be on welfare. check. So he... <laughs> And he doesn't like it when you say that he's on welfare. I don't think either. he's on like officially what's called welfare, but um, like whatever he he's gets getting some, some kind of, of handout. He, he does, and that, that way he has the time to do this kind of thing. So I mean, look, I know, uh, and I I didn't want to keep him on hold or keep him on with us because he just keeps repeating himself. I yeah. mean, that's just what he does. But I know how Dave behaves online, and he is a he is a bad netizen. <laughs> he is a, not a good netizen. He is rude. Netizen is a term of for a people. person who lives on the net. Yes, I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's an old term. I don't know if anybody uses it these oh, days. Man. But you know, he he is not a good person online. And I don't know. Maybe he's great in real life, but I I don't well, want to meet him and find out. What do y'all think about his point, though? Um, I understand you guys. There are, was a point to that. Yeah, call? there was a weird that he was talking about that. Uh, you know, uh, other shows get all upset if you post their stuff, and I yeah they do. I mean, I I go back and forth. Like, I don't believe in using the government to force people to to uh, you know respect copyright laws, but I do think you can have common courtesy and say, hey, do you mind? You know, I worked really hard on this story. Sure. Uh, can I please put this up first? You know, I mean, I don't know how to handle. I don't know. What would you guys think of how to handle? I have a YouTube channel, and I get paid to put up stories on YouTube. If someone just took all my stories and started putting them up all over Facebook or something, um, the I, what, I, what what do I have to say? I have to say that uh, if you if somebody finds like for instance one of our videos is uh, something that was put out by this one organization, they didn't get nearly the traction with it that we did, um, and they asked us to put up a link to their um, you know their, their Facebook page and their um, website on the video, changed it right away. They didn't ask us to pull it down. No problem. We've had organizations ask us to pull videos down. Fine. We'll pull it down. Um, if it's news, that's a different story. But if it's um, you know something else, eh, no problem. I don't even remember what you're uh, you're referring to. In you're that, not on the Facebook page, buddy. You're busy doing other things. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. I know that uh, one of my videos was posted to the Facebook page recently that I posted, I think, to freekeen.com. And somebody downloaded and reposted it to the Facebook page. It got more views on Facebook than it did on YouTube, and I don't see any revenue from that. But I, I don't mind. I, I don't mind if people see my video, right? Like they're seeing the video, and maybe they'll go to freekeen.com because of it. Yeah. So I guess there's a bigger play at stake. Is you'd rather have people come to Freekeen, so you're fine with that. Um, well, and somebody who's reposting your videos is also reposting you, ultimately. You right, identifying I mean, yourself. Hey, I'm Taryn Lupo. Right, You're I watching brand, my channel. I brand myself in there, so it's hard to cut me out. Right. You know? And then, you know, yeah, they could certainly crop in. Like the Free Keen videos have the little bug down in the bottom right hand. Certainly you could crop that out. That's possible. Um, I mean, somebody who wants to put the effort in can hack up your your piece. Yeah, I think it was Young Americans for Liberty took one of our memes and just hacked the Free Talk Live uh, logo uh, logo out out of it. I was real pleased about that. uh, The little spammy guys there. That's a tacky uh, move. It's very tacky tacky move. And but what are you going to do? Spend your time suing them? I mean, it's ridiculous. No, I wouldn't do any such thing. But I I I don't know. I would call someone out if they did it enough. Like if they grab our memes all the time. Now they leave our uh, our logo in it. Uh, In this most recent case that I saw, I'm. 
quoted in it. And, you know, it got a lot more That's traction cool than it did yeah. on um, our page. They've got a much bigger page than like yeah. 10 times um, what ours is. Yeah, It'd be really nice if they just go ahead and share it instead of grabbing it and then, you know, putting it up on theirs and taking all the views and likes and comments for themselves. But they're not going to stop. So... What am I supposed to do? Well, I suppose you could request that they do something differently. To but, whom? Uh, yeah, but why bother? I mean, why even bother spending time chasing it down? If you've got things to do with your own time in your own life that, you know, keep you busy, Dave obviously doesn't have those things. But if you've got, you know, your own thing going on, you should focus on your thing, whatever it is, you know, creating more content promoting your content out there rather than trying to chase down the uh you know what is it like like the old papa snake thing that you see in the uh the, what, the, what is it called the whack-a-mole the whack-a-mole <laughs> the old game <laughs> papa snake yeah. that's something else yeah. Any idea what i think about? i saw that in an adult movie yeah. uh, other than that. ian played that in middle school 855 <laughs> 450 free it's a good game <laughs> we'll come back with more here in moments some naughty cops coming up the police raid on the marijuana shop. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while, even very smart, very accomplished people. It's part of being human. A quote taken out of context, a legal problem, an unfortunate photograph. Once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash because people love to dig up dirt, even when it's not real dirt. Put it to rest. Call for a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. Businesses, public figures, and professionals turn to Reputation.com for good reason. We protect your online image by helping make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Learn more about what the experts at Reputation.com can do for you. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Mike Stennerson for Midas Resources. At no time in history have precious metals been more important, certainly not in my 22 years in the industry. The dollar has lost over 90% of its value in the last 60 years. No fiat currency has ever survived the government printing presses. Ours is not immune. The time is now to be proactive. 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Anything tied to the dollar is at risk. CDs, annuities, 401ks, IRAs, stocks, bonds, you name it, so decide. Do you want to leave a legacy of wealth or debt for your family? The choice is yours. 
Call me at 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Be proactive, not reactive. Call 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. We're back with more Free Talk Live. We've got time for you if you want to join us here. Plenty of it, actually. 855-450-FREE is our number. We've got more on the police who are suing the police. <laughs> yes, it's always fun when the government uh, eats its own. That's what's happening in Santa, <laughs> what was it, Santa Ana? Santa, Santa Ana, yeah. Yeah, Santa Ana, California, where police had already made headlines once when uh, in a May raid on a medical marijuana dispensary, they were video recorded breaking security cameras. So they certainly knew there was a security system on site because later on in the lawsuit that they filed after they were caught on video breaking security cameras, eating marijuana edibles, and insulting crippled uh, patients, saying of one of the patients, one uh, officer asks the other one, once the patients had left, so they, to their credit, didn't say this in front of them, but they still said it, did you punch that one-legged old Benita? And the other officer responds, I was about to kick her in her effing nub. Referring to a disabled woman in a wheelchair that was in the shop at the time the raid was initiated. So that they were caught in the midst of this, uh, you know, ir- or absolutely horrible raid <laughs> on this, this you know, poor person's uh, life's blood, this facility, this medical marijuana dispensary, destroying their business. As though that weren't bad enough to then go on and insult a crippled woman and possibly some other customers in there as well as eat uh, the marijuana goodies that were in the shop. Just, you know, insult upon insult upon injury in oh. this case. And it, they're embarrassed. So they're suing now to pre- prevent, in the, if they're successful, prevent the Internal Affairs Department from being able to review any of the footage. But it's already leaked to the public. You can sit and watch this That's and true. you can watch them play darts. So I think the credibility damage is done. Well, I mean, hopefully. It's out. Um, and I, I don't know how you would defend that one. How do you defend... Eating the food and playing darts and they're not, they're not gonna they don't want to defend it. Talk. That's why they want IA to not be able to see the video. So I mean, in the the court of public opinion, they're I'm done sure for. they're done. But I think yeah. there'll be one of these slap on the wrist. We we'll, we'll investigate it. Wink, wink. So in spite of the officer's disrespectful language, destruction of private property, the stories from theantimedia.org, and consumption of the cannabis products, their attorney. This is the officer's attorney, Mr. Glave. He vehemently maintains the store owner lacked consent to film them, saying, quote, without the illegal recordings, there would have been no internal investigation of any officer, the suit argues. I love this. This is hilarious. <laughs> if you hadn't caught our officers on video breaking the law, no one would have known that they broke the law. Yeah. It's and a good I'm, argument. Duh. I'm pretty sure that it's, I'm pretty sure California Solid. is a two-party state. It's, an, it's you know, or excuse me, not a two-party state. It's a one-party, meaning that- yeah. Uh, there are only a few two-party states, and I'm pretty sure that California is not one as far as what the wiretapping laws say. This also isn't wiretapping. This is a person putting video on in their um, in their business. And police departments right. that use the wiretapping laws to do, go after people who are doing something besides wiretapping are miscarrying justice. I don't think they've charged him with wiretapping. So how can they claim that these recordings were illegal? It's not like they didn't know there was a security system there. They spent time bashing the cameras and removing them from their connections. They just missed one, apparently. So because they missed a security camera, it was able to record the rest of their activities. And they're, they're butthurt about it now. <laughs> and now, they're law- now, they're, now them and the police union have joined together for a lawsuit. I, I think it should be a lesson that if you're going to be kind of in a high-risk business, you really should put some hidden security cameras up in your place. Absolutely. Now, of course, the ideal some would be Some people have them in their homes, and sometimes that can be of an advantage. I mean, I wouldn't want them to get into the wrong hands if you, you know, like, you know, you don't want sex tapes leaking out. The ideal, what though, goes on in that house, Mark? would be that you don't <laughs> want the security system to be confiscatable. And that's the tricky part, because if you've got, uh, you know, yeah. if you've, got the, you've got the cameras on site, 
You also got the DVR, the digital video recorder, on site. They can do what they did in the Fat Stuff raid, which was the head shop here on Main Street in Keene. They can just go in and yank the entire recorder out. Yeah, you pretty much have to back it up to online. That was a lesson learned. Which is a lot of bandwidth. I mean, you yeah. if you're doing it online, you're talking about HD cameras. You're talking about a significant amount of bandwidth that you would have to be backing up online. I mean, that's just not even, but for the average business, I don't think that's viable. It's like Criminal 101, though. I would watch these shows where they talk to these criminals, and they say the first thing they would do is go steal the VCR sitting in the back. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, uh, whatever, the digital. I'm sorry, I'm aged. It dated could be, there. you know, you might, <laughs> at least with the average criminal, you probably would have some uh, success with hiding the DVR, like putting a, so. a false wall or something like that, some sort of back room that's a little bit harder to find than other places. And, but in a, a, a very detailed police raid, they're going to uncover something like that. Yeah, in this case, they did. I don't know. The hidden cameras are really sneaky now. I mean, they can be in like clocks. Yeah, that's they can true. Be in, you know. Uh, the Fire lawsuit detectors. leaves observers wondering not only why police officers broke down a door wearing ski masks, insulting patients, and consuming drugs, but calls to mind the common government truism that if you aren't doing anything wrong, you have nothing to hide. But if the officers are eager to keep evidence of their actions secret, then what is it that they have to hide exactly? The uh, Pappas, the store owner, argues the lawsuit is meritless because officers were aware that video cameras were on the presence or the premise rather moving to destroy each one they could find he said they knew they were on video just because they missed one camera doesn't make it an illegal recording though the Santa Ana police already have the footage of the raid no officers have yet been reprimanded they are all still employed by the very department that they are now suing man they're still in the streets amazing that's your update on what's happened out in California. And just to bring you up to speed in case you're just tuning in on this story and you're wondering why did this raid happen? Uh, wait a minute. I thought medical marijuana was legal in California. Didn't they pass Proposition 215 in 1996? That's 19 years ago. Didn't they pass Proposition 215 by a fairly decent margin of the voters? Why, yes, they did. Yep. And yet the raids are still going on. And the, the ostensible reason for this raid was that they're, they were operating without the proper permits. And to me, that's not a crime. It certainly doesn't deserve a police raid. It certainly doesn't deserve a police raid at gunpoint. But really, this shows that the gun is in the room here, right? I mean, you would, you were By the balking. gun, you mean that uh, go the government is an agency of force. Yeah, and well, multiple guns in this case. In this case, case they're not even um, an agency of just force. They're, this is a, c a case of illegal force. But I think what it shows even more so is this raid wasn't conducted by these three officers. This raid was conducted by a, um, you know, a, 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 a dozen or a score of officers, and um, you know, or more than that. And these officers were doing the things that they were doing the whole time. They behave like this because they have the expectation that they're not going to get reprimanded because they do it all the time. That's the only yeah, sure. conclusion I can come to. This is normal behavior for these people. Now, I don't know that it's a normal behavior for every police department. I can't come to that conclusion. But for this police department, and I've seen this kind of thing happen oh, over yeah. and over and over again, this police department, this is normal behavior, is the only conclusion I can come to. Well, the SWAT team is going to attract the most adrenaline junkie. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, but those Not. people are supposed to have bosses, and those bosses, yeah. upon seeing this tape, should have fired every single one of them. I don't care what the I don't ca I don't care about anything else. Uh, you know, find fight it out with the police union later. These officers deserve to be put on the street, and every officer that looked uh, that stood by and said nothing, because I I heard there were good cops once. <laughs> I believe that story. All right, we're going to come back. Uh, you can share your thoughts. Plus, Snoop Dogg in more drug-related news. He got busted in Italy with thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. What did he do wrong? Free Talk Live. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. 
And I go, Doug, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. I, if they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. Hi, this is Walt Augustinowitz. I'm the founder and CEO of ID Stronghold. By now you've heard our commercials about wallets that protect you from electronic pickpocketing. Ten years ago, I created a way to protect my own cards from prying eyes after government officials started talking about issuing a national ID card with a built-in radio chip called RFID. I felt having to broadcast my personal information was an invasion of privacy. Soon after, it was also announced that credit cards, debit cards, U.S. passports, hotel room keys, and even transit passes would all soon incorporate RFID. It was then I formed ID Stronghold to share my inventions in blocking RFID signals with the world. There are a lot of misconceptions out there today about RFID. I encourage everyone to get informed and get protected. Please go to IDStronghold.com and get the facts and the wallet sleeves or badge holders you need to protect your personal financial data. You'll be pleasantly surprised that through our direct sales model, you won't pay more than other comparable unprotected wallets. It is as though the protection is free. Visit IDStronghold.com today. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KatiArmor.com. Come and take it. Thousands of people seeking home security get ripped off every day, and the home security industry wants you to believe that's your only option. They've got hordes of salesmen out there trying to scare you into signing one of their long-term contracts. You get stuck writing huge checks month after month with no way out. It's robbery by contract, and it can cost you thousands. But there's a better way to protect your home. Simply Safe Home Security. Simply Safe has no contracts, none. You'll get award-winning 24-7 protection, security professionals watching over your home, ready to instantly send police to the rescue for just $14.99 per month. That's less than half what most companies charge. Protect your home the smart way. Visit simplysafedefense.com today for an exclusive 10% offer and get a free keychain remote worth $25 only when you go to simplysafedefense.com. Simplysafedefense.com. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while. But once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash. Put it to rest. Get a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. We protect your online image by helping to make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free to join us here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, what did Snoop Dogg do wrong when he took more than $200,000 through a, or attempted to, he's failed at it, to take uh, more than $200,000 through an airport checkpoint in Italy uh, 855 450 free. We've also got Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. Bitcoinist.net is the ultimate resource for Bitcoin industry news, reviews, education, and the latest in crypto the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Bitcoinist is the prime online destination for information about the Bitcoin and digital currency industry. Their website integrates a community forum. Breaking Bitcoin and Digital Currency and Breaking Bitcoin Digital Currency News. They also aim to cover fintech and blockchain tech news as well. Bitcoinist has very sophisticated Bitcoin network statistics, a solid beginner's guide to Bitcoin, and much more. The Bitcoinist platform serves the needs of everyone. 
looking to keep up with Bitcoin and digital currencies. From beginners to experts, Bitcoinist.net. I signed up for their, uh, you know, their free newsletter. It's uh, it's great. Uh, Bitcoinist.net. All right, let's go to the phones to your thoughts. Actually, to Skype, where we have Jonathan on the line. Jonathan, you're on Free Talk Live. There is a uh, CEO of a credit card payment company that instituted a $70,000 annual minimum wage for his employees. And the consequence of that was that the less valuable employees in terms of production and creativity and talent uh, were making the same amount as the ones who did have talent and experience. And the more Mm. quality employees then said, uh, what the FCC we're going to, we don't like this. So they left and yeah, it's an, it's kind of insulting, right? Where you've worked for a decade, uh, you know, you've, you've slaved away for some business, uh, cranking out the hours only to, you know, get raises over that decade to where you're now making 90,000 or a hundred thousand dollars. And then all of a sudden, or you're making seventy-five thousand or whatever, and then all of a sudden the people that were making forty thousand dollars a year, sh- right well, up to your level, it's seventy thousand dollars. It's not just the insult, though. Um, the money has to come from somewhere. You can't just pay everybody seventy thousand dollars. So um, you know the money has to come from somewhere. It comes from the raises that the the better employees would get, and those people then are working for less than standard wages. So they go to someone else, and then you're stuck with the dum dums and the ne'er do wells. Amen. And that's precisely what happens when you move from a merit based. Uh, wage to a socialist uh, fields wage. And uh, I think it's predictable for anybody who really thinks about it. Jonathan, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate you bringing that forward. It was actually, that's a, that's that was something you'd been wanting to talk about, Mark, for the last yeah, couple of days. I've got the show prep here, but I think he encapsulated it so well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, he came, it came down right down to it. And this so is. So this guy lost some of his best employees because he decided to pay the $70,000 minimum it's wage. It's the living wage argument writ large. Because the claim is, is that if you've got a job, you should be able to support a family on it, which, of course, um, you know, it's, it's crazy because I mean, even Paul Krugman. I just watched him. This is the uh, this is the New York Times columnist and the, uh, the 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 big Keynesian economics guy. He said, "Well, he'd be interested in entertaining the idea of an age-based minimum wage." If you're interested in, um, you know, entertaining the idea of an age-based minimum wage, then you understand that young people can't compete with older people for a fixed wage and um, that they have to be able to work for something less than, wait for it, a living wage, right? When I was 15 years old, I was making the minimum wage. I didn't need a living wage because I was living at my parents' house. Yeah, nor did you deserve more than that because you had no skills. I had some skills. No I had skills. been working since I was 12, but right. uh, but I quickly moved above minimum wage at that point. I don't really know how to quantify. I worked as a server at one point. I never made minimum wage wages, but I did get the server minimum wage mm-hmm. um, after that. And I did make minimum wage uh, washing dishes in my first job out of prison. So you're welcome to comment. In no case was I living at home, any place, but uh, was was I paying my own rent, though? You're welcome to join us at 855 450 free. Now, uh, Snoop Dogg's making a lot more than the minimum wage. Uh, in fact, he had enough money to where he was carrying over $200,000 with him over the past, I think it was it was a Saturday actually, apparently just so just a few days ago. He is now uh gone. That or that money's now gone from him. It was confiscated by Italian police after he attempted to go through an airport in Cal- Calabria. During a normal check at La Misia Term, the rapper was found with $422,820 in U.S. cash, according to a police source. The maximum amount of cash that passengers traveling through Italy can carry without declaring it is about $11,000 U.S. dollars or €10,000. The rules were put in place to prevent money laundering, is the claim. To be exact, Italian finance police seized $205,933. How nice of them to leave him with another two hundred and twenty thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, I don't understand why they didn't take all four hundred and twenty one thousand or whatever. I'm not I'm not interested in him being having his money taken, but I'm just no, surprised neither. that they would only take two hundred thousand, you know, quarter million dollars and leave him with something close to that. 
yeah, I don't think they should have taken any of his money, but yet it is a surprise that they wouldn't just totally empty his pockets. Like, oh, here you go, Snoop. You can have two hundred thousand. We'll just take about half. We'll take Weird. about half of your four hundred thousand dollars. The rapper arrived in the country's southern region earlier this week as in his private jet for a performance in the village of Montpeon. He told police the cash was to pay his band for concerts in Italy and elsewhere. Said the now, you'd source. think that the, a private uh, jet, this would be something that you might be exempt from. You know, I mean, yeah, you would think so. Apparently, not in Italy. Well, I can. I, I bet he's done it over and over again. Snoop Dogg left for London. The finance police will open an investigation into the Italian concert and how the rapper was paid. Because if you're getting paid in cash, obviously it must be drug money, right? That's the, <laughs> that's the suggestion. Well, here. cash um, also is something that uh, taxes might be avoided upon. Right. Well, and most of the musician world works in cash. I mean, that's is really that right? normal to, yeah, when you get paid and they go to the gigs. It's I cash. did not know that. I figured some big roadie operation would be paying people with paychecks. I don't know big scale. I'm talking small scale, but I don't imagine Snoop's don't got know. a small scale operation. No, but I, I I don't know what I'm talking. Taron's about. giving his uh, experience in the area of small scale musicians. Yeah, that's if, what I'm saying. if Snoop has a small no scale operation, then he's paying those guys real well, right? I mean, two hundred thousand dollars is for four hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money to uh, to pay out. I mean, if he's got a handful of guys, they're making a lot of money. If he's got a bunch of guys, then it makes I guess maybe more sense. But no, there's probably a lot of people to put these things on. All right, so what uh, what did he do wrong? Well, <laughs> he didn't use talk Bitcoin. Talk to the police? <laughs> You've got to talk to the police if you're in the airport, Mark. They're I don't go- know. They're going to detain you otherwise. So the answer is he should have had Bitcoin. Don't ask, answer, act like you don't know. If you, want to tra- if you want to transfer money around the world with no effort whatsoever and not be detectable, Bitcoin's the only way to do it. You He's don't have, have to, to hide put pressure any cash. on his people to, to accept Bitcoin, though. How, how hard is it now to start converting it where you're in another country like if i go to italy how hard is it to cash out my bitcoin that's a good question i don't know about that i guess it just depends on which country have what options i mean europe is probably easier than the united states canada certainly is easier than europe is easier than the united states and so is canada um united states is among the worst as far as sort of you know, modern industrialized uh, countries as far um, as cashing out of bitcoin but just dealing yeah. with the uh, the government bureaucracies uh, surrounding bitcoin they they're wanting to limit it they make it very difficult there's mm. there's more <laughs> a lot more atms up in uh, atms bitcoin vending machines and these sorts of things in canada well, bitcoin vending machines don't cash you out a bitcoin atm would Fine, so whatever you can, the term is a bitcoin we wish atm to use. you can uh, give the bitcoin atm bitcoin and it will give you cash there are far fewer of those just in general across the world than there are Bitcoin vending machines, which turn cash into Bitcoin. Our toll-free number is 855-450 for you. But you're right. That is the tricky part is, you know, how does he pay the guys if he's going to move Bitcoin around? And uh, But all I was saying is that's the way to avoid this. If you want to uh, not have your cash confiscated at the border or at any sort of police checkpoint, just have it as Bitcoin. They're not going to know you have that at all. Yeah. Uh, 855 450 free. That's our toll free number. We got more coming up. It's Free Talk Live. Attention, business owners. Do you know the three most critical letters in business? CEO? MBA? Nope. Here's a hint these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. ROI? The answer is INC, as in incorporation. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why Incorporate.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-941-1029 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from Incorporate.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Get the three little letters that can mean the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. For your free guide, call 1-800-941-1029. That's 1-800-941-1029. It's so lonely here. I can barely stand it. I'm waiting for you to stroke your keys and unload over at GCNlive.com slash community. Oh, come on. I know you have things to share, and there's a whole place waiting for you to share them. Light some candles, pour yourself a drink, and get cozy. Log in at GCNlive.com slash community. Lots of people are satisfied. Why not satisfy yourself at GCNlive.com slash community? I'm waiting. Get out of the friend zone at delicious.com. 
We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. Would you like to use your IRA funds to buy precious metals and hold them at home? Are you wary of the stock market, paper gold, or faraway depositories? With a checkbook IRA, you may legally take custody of IRA-owned gold and silver. Visit CheckbookIRA.com and learn how IRA owners in all 50 states have already taken control. CheckbookIRA.com CheckbookIRA.com Many are in disbelief today after word of shocking allegations against a Minnesota-based talk syndication company known as GCN. It's claimed that they're the fourth largest talk syndication company in the U.S., making it even more scandalous that they've been accused of helping business owners expose themselves on a massive scale. Let's go live to Tom for more on this story. It's being called the greatest exposure of our lifetime, while other business owners are beginning to step forward claiming they, too, exposed themselves <gasps> with the help of GCN. It's true. They're all guilty. Every last one of them. GCN helped me get the exposure my company needed, and just think, that was years ago. Today, GCN has like 700 affiliate stations and over 6 million downloads from iTunes and their website every month. Imagine the exposure your company can get. Expose your business to the masses. Email advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. GCN. We've all heard the news stories. Another shooting. And they're getting worse. That's why Infidel Body Armor introduces Infidel Fridays, exclusive 24-hour insider deals to save you money and possibly save your life. Make it a favorite when you log on to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Then be sure to visit each and every Infidel Friday to get special insider pricing, but for 24 hours only. That's InfidelBodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. We're here. You can dial toll-free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, the Dutch king has declared an end to the welfare state. That is what Mark has to share with us this evening. Also, uh, apparently there's a raid on a gas station with a mural of Obama. And uh, Taryn Lupo's here with that story as well. Uh, Taryn also does videos online. And Taryn, you recently had, well, you've actually had a few since this one, but just tonight we did post over on the Free Talk Live Facebook and uh, Twitter a link to, actually, did I post it? Maybe I did Yeah, didn't. it's up top there. Oh, yeah, I did post it. Okay, good. It's your report on carnivorous plants. Yeah, there's um, kind of an interesting phenomenon going on that people are poaching carnivorous plants. And we kind of talked about this a little bit, but um, there's supposedly an anti-cancer element in these plants when you juice uh, Venus flytraps called carnivora. Hmm. And so there's this big rush, and of course, all these poachers are coming out, and I don't know if you guys- I know where there's some Venus flytraps, and off they go. Yeah, well, there's <laughs> only- this is what you don't know, is they only grow Venus flytraps in the Appalachias, and they're mainly in North Carolina and South Carolina, and that's it. Okay. So um, it's kind of like what happened to ginseng, where it got real valuable and everybody and their mother started going and pulling up ginseng illegally. Uh, so it's so it's, they're poach. Just to clarify, these poachers are in the United States. They're going on private property, correct? And they're taking people's uh, fly traps who are breeding fly traps. Well, not necessarily breeding them. I mean, they grow wild, but they're still on people's property. Uh -huh. Now they'll also go on government property and do it, but. 
but the story really um, is more about how to grow them and uh, that there's a big profit margin because can you only oh, sorry to interrupt again mm-hmm. can you only grow them in those areas of the world or can you do like a hydroponics setup and you can do a hydroponics you can grow them in your house mm-hmm. and so they're trying to encourage people to learn how to grow these things because you can turn around and sell them to the companies that want the carnivora hmm. to make carnivora and make a really big profit and it helps uh protect from poaching so they're trying to encourage people but they're kind of difficult to grow so this story well, gets into that that's that's what's really sort of weird here is is that appalachia doesn't have a particularly unusual environment um they're uh i mean you know it's it's kind of wet and it gets cold and snowy and it freezes um it's something about the sand in the soil they have okay. to have very particular sand it's and, the soil uh, okay hmm. and when you watch the video it talks about that that you use um pool sand quartz pool sand okay. and that's the stuff that really makes them thrive i see so anyway this story story is a private story. I don't normally share this stuff. Um, this story is only on my website, but I've made it public for the, uh, about a week or two just to try to build some hits, and then I'm turning it private. So if you want to watch it, go to the Free Talk Live page. While you can. Um, yeah, Otherwise, it, you'll have to go to taranlupa.com. That's right. right. Then you got to go through my rigmarole to get to it. All right. So uh, our toll-free <laughs> number is 855-450-FREE. We talked about the uh, Snoop, Snoop Dogg having to pay hundred, uh, well, pay, being uh, forced to give up two hundred thousand dollars just because he wanted to go through the airport. And it's not just Snoop Dogg that gets targeted with these things. You know, sometimes it's an old lady who's been saving all of her money her whole life, and she's got, you know, not a whole lot, but let's say fifty thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars or something like that. And she's trying to travel to a new house. Cops pull her over and say, "Oh, well." Looks like drug proceeds. No one else would have cash for any reason than drug dealing. Old lady, yep. your cash is ours. And then once that happens, now in the Snoop's case, he got popped in Italy. So whatever the rules are there, I don't know. In the United States, they actually bring a court case against the money. So once they charge, they actually charge the money with some sort of crime. Yes. So it's United States versus two hundred thousand dollars U.S. dollars. Yeah, it's uh, really weird because obviously the um, the money can't demand to see its accuser. It the can't money, hire its own attorney. The, the money can't hire an attorney. It's really very really weird stuff, isn't I mean, it? It's only bizarre. in legal land um, where these uh, well w- down in down in from the south where I'm from we call them liars and um, would come up with a system like this. These uh, these liars uh, and all their um, lying. Uh, I mean, it's this is amazing. It's crazy. So uh, I'm curious, Taryn, since we're on the drug topic, do you have that uh, that raid story about the? I can pull it up. What I had store that had a mural of Barack Obama. Well, actually, I had the the 3D printer key pulled up first. Can we talk about that real quick? Yeah, sure. That's fine. We'll get to the Obama story, but um, I don't know if you guys have ever had keys that say "Do not duplicate," and sometimes they're important. Like you'll rent a place and you can't make a copy of your own key, or You'll get a fancy car, and they'll have a key that you can't use. Mm-hmm. That they want you to come to the dealership and pay two hundred dollars for a key if you mm-hmm. lose your key. Well, a lot of times uh, do, they can't duplicate the key anyway. I mean, it's just uh, it's one of those situations that uh, it's too fancy, too too th- too many things going on. Sometimes the the electronics inside prevent the duplication. Right, that's what it's about. Yeah, there's some times that there's electronics involved, uh, but there's an app now that can fix that. That uh, anyone can print. Basically, 3D print a do not duplicate key. So now one group of researchers has released a piece of software that makes copying basically uncopyable keys much easier than ever. On Tuesday, a group from University of Michigan researchers released new web-based tool that lets the uh, users 3D print (laughs) any of the thousand restricted keys designed to defy copying attempts. Aside from the do not duplicate warnings on the keys, lockmasters also try to prevent the duplication by using uh, controlled keyways. And I think that's what you guys were talking about. The controlled space, keyways. Um, yeah, like this the W-E-I-G-H? space in I G H. They call them keyways, uh, as in like uh, I'll explain as what in the they weight? are. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the space inside the lock that the key inserts into, and selling the blanks that fit them only to uh, users who can prove their affiliation with a big client like a corporation, university, or government agency. So those are called keyways. I guess it's the actual inside the lock. Hmm. I guess I don't get that. Oh, all right. Well, that's what it's talking about. But basically they're saying because um, 
the the way the app works is you you take a picture of the front of the lock, and then you also uh, take a picture of the key, and then it builds a CAD file file for you and huh. 3D prints it out. So I guess they need to know what the lock looks like as well. Yeah, they have to know what the the wiggly, you know, how the the key wiggles, right? Like it's not a straight thing. Um, it has little moves, undulations to it. And uh, that they need to see that. And then they need to see the side of the key to know the little bumps on the top. Oh. Says, we've proven that uh, restricted keyways are no longer a defense, says Michigan researcher Ben Burgess. We've shown that anyone with a 3D printer can quickly and easily attack these systems. So I thought, that was, uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting article about... The 3D printers are a game changer. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt about that. I mean, I, don't, I still don't understand what a keyway is, but I do understand that you could easily use 3D printers to copy a key. And I guess you'd have to have some badass, uh, like, hard plastic, right? Because most keys are made out of metal, and I don't know how many key... Uh, yeah, I don't I... know how many 3D printers are, at least consumer level, are printing metal. And I, I honestly don't know. I know... Well, Hopefully someone can call in that knows more about 3D printing than me, but I thought you could choose the hardness of your plastics on these things by what you put in I have in no them. idea. I also, um, the, uh, the, the plastic is something that you would use for perhaps one or two, you know, like a, a fewer amount of uses than the metal, right? Yeah, you could make, right, sure, because it'll wear away over, over time. Yeah. So a keyway also is it's just a part inside the lock where- Can you spell it for me? Yeah. K-E-Y. Yep. W A Y. Oh, W A Y. Okay, because I'd asked to be E I G H before, and it wasn't clear. What oh, the I'm was. sorry. It's my southern accent. Yeah, yeah. it's way. And uh, it it looks it's in the lock. It's a little thing that uh, I don't know something slides into here. Um, it probably has to do with uh, unlocking key doors. Yeah, I don't, I don't need a a detailed explanation on the air. I was just saying. It I, seems like the place the keys must slide into, like the way the for receiver. The key. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. So the lock, basically. It's they're calling the, the they're calling the lock. The, well, there's different parts of the, the lock. keyway. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's right. So if you were like a uh, a locksmith, you'd know what a keyway was. That they certainly would. Yeah. So the idea being the uh, 3D printers now have defeated this particular old system, this old way of protecting these restricted keys. So everybody who's got just a standard old restricted key, you're basically screwed. There are still fancier locking systems that I think would not be defeated by at least the system you're describing, Taryn. No, probably. Uh, like, there are certain keys, like the ones that open up uh, the Bitcoin vending machine that I have. There, There's a brand called a Abloy, A-B-L-O-Y, and I'm just thinking about the way those keys are designed. Taking a simple photo of it isn't going to really give you the proper 3D printing, I guess, CAD or whatever, because... Like there's certain aspects of the key that are kind of rounded and you wouldn't be able to see that in a two dimensional photo. So I think there are it's some a good lock. Hmm? It's a good lock. Yeah, it's a fancier lock. So and that's not to say it couldn't be a aped in some way. I just don't know if this system would work for uh, for those keys. Yep. So you probably still can get some fancy locks that this won't necessarily work on, at least yet. <laughs> but over time, it'll probably get easier and easier to duplicate even more complicated keys out there. 855 453. We got more coming up here in moments. Wow. The end of the welfare state, in, according to the Dutch King. Coming up. Look, well. Shaquille O'Neal for Icy Hot. If you've got pain, you need the patch. The Icy Hot patch. Powerful, targeted, fast acting pain relief that stays put without the mess. Icy to dull the pain, hot to relax it away in a variety of sizes from back, shoulders, knees, even arthritis. So you're covered whenever and wherever you hurt. Stop pain right at the source with Icy Hot Patches. Pain's no match for the Icy Hot Patch. For temporary topical pain relief, use only as directed. Every summer we go to Canyon Woods. Love getting outside. Love the hiking. Hate the itching and irritation from poison ivy, bug bites, all the things that keep me inside. So I need something strong. Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing is clinically proven with the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available for fast, long-lasting relief of itching and irritation with seven moisturizers to help heal skin. I finally have the relief I need. Hey, Jan, check this out. On my way. Cortisone 10. Feel the heal. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. 
But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Exposing the lies. USA prepares with Vincent Finelli. GCN. Today, the FBI raided a controversial local... With SRN News, I'm Keith Peters in Washington. Nashville police are now saying the man who attacked moviegoers in an Antioch movie theater is a 29-year-old man, not a 51-year-old, as previously stated. He died in a shootout with police. Investigators say he was wielding a hatchet, a pellet gun, and was carrying two backpacks, one of which had a fake device made to look like a bomb. An attack victim identified by police only as Stephen says he's glad no one was seriously hurt. I'm eternally grateful. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> from Metro Police Department for their fast response today and the fact that no one else got injured other than the person who did this. Metro Nashville Police Chief Steve Anderson said investigators still need to fingerprint the attacker and do other analyses before releasing his identity. Also at SRNnews.com, firefighters battling a huge blaze in Northern California are working 24-hour shifts as they struggle to bring it under control. Hundreds are being brought in from around the state to help out. Ventura County Fire Department spokesman Steve Kaufman says the wind is their enemy. A lot of fire deep-seated. Uh, that's just smoldering on the ground. And so what happens during the day, especially when the winds come up, is uh, those fires will start, you know, getting bigger. The Senate will consider a long-delayed cybersecurity bill when it returns from its August recess. Efforts to fast-track it through the Senate derailed over concerns about privacy. California's Dianne Feinstein says that is not an issue. It is all voluntary. Oregon's Ron Wyden says that is only half true. The fact is companies could volunteer to share their customers' information with the government, but they wouldn't have to ask their customers' permission before handing it over. The Senate will take up the measure when it returns from its summer break. SRN's Wally Hines reporting. On Wall Street, the down by 10 points, the Nasdaq rose 34, the S&P advanced 6. This is SRN News. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate. If this sounds familiar, call us now. Because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-871-5138. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-871-5138. That's 1-800-871-5138. Call 1-800-871-5138. Israeli archaeologists are trying to decipher what they've described as a rare ancient message discovered at a dig in Jerusalem. This find was made when a room was unearthed that's believed to date back about 2,000 years. It contained a Jewish ritual bath, and on its walls were letters in Hebrew script and a series of symbols either smeared on with mud or cut into the plaster. Among the signs was an image of a boat and palm trees. The archaeologists say the markings may be no more than ancient graffiti, but it's also possible that they might have some deep religious significance. BBC correspondent Alan Johnston. Microsoft will offer more paid leave to new parents and increase other benefits for U.S. employees. This announcement comes a day after Netflix announced generous new parent benefits for its workers. This is SRN News. 
From Fenway Park to youth baseball fields, Boston Mayor Martin J. Walsh wants to ban the use of snuff and chewing tobacco in sports venues across the city. Next week, I'll file an ordinance with the Boston City Council to ban smokeless tobacco at ball fields in our city. One ball player who supports the ban is former Boston Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling, who says he wishes people could see what he went through after he was diagnosed with mouth cancer. If the cameras had followed me from the mound in 2007, Game 2 of the World Series, into the hospital uh, with a feeding tube, chemotherapy and radiation, I don't think a lot of kids would have taken up dipping. Schilling believes chewing tobacco was the cause of his mouth cancer. A Boston Red Sox spokesman did not immediately comment on the proposal Wednesday, but owner John Henry told the Boston Globe he supports the idea. More details at srnnews.com. I'm Keith Peters in Washington. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. If they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. Serious investors and traders want to make an 81% return in 60 seconds. We can show you how using our free tool. Use the same secret algorithm professional hedge fund managers use to make billions of dollars in profits. Turn $250 into $4,903 in just seven clicks of a mouse. Our tool is so simple, my 82-year-old grandmother can use it to make insane stock market profits. Best part, it's 100% free. Go to richmoneyrich.com. Watch the free video before the hedge funds make us take it down. richmoneyrich.com. That's richmoneyrich.com. Free Talk Live. Launching into the third hour of the program, of course, you can join us here toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you in studio, it's Ian, Taryn P. Lupo, and King Mark. So why did the FBI raid a, a essentially a convenience store in Cleveland? There's a story that Taryn brought in here from Freedoms Phoenix and Liberty Upward is the original source. Uh, the local gas station operated and owned by Abe Ayad has been raided by FBI agents as of last week, allegedly. Again. Yeah, right. It's not, it's not actually the first time that he has been raided. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, allegedly due to the images on the side of his store uh, displayed inside and Today, the apparently FBI outside. Today, the controversial local gas station that's been in the news before. And Didn't now we're wondering that. what went down. So <laughs> Frank well. Wiley, Wiley, we reached out to the owner tonight of Biggie's, and you say he gave you a look at some video. Yeah, we got a hold of some exclusive video at that store. We also talked to the store owner tonight. He led us inside that store where all of this went down. And uh, this is what we're talking about right here. That store owner's name, Abe Ayad. He told us the FBI showed up, raided his store. He says he demanded a warrant, didn't receive one. Huh? And he showed us this surveillance video of that raid. He also says once agents made it to the back of his store, they shut off his cameras. We should tell you, back in April, there were several complaints about a mural that he had at his gas station. And some of the images involve President Obama and Jesus. We can't show them to you. The city told IAD to shrink those images. Now, we uh, do have the images in the story here from Freedoms Phoenix, and we'll post that over on our Facebook and uh, Twitter. Twitter. There's actually a little bit more here to the news piece. They can't arrest me. For what? 2009, they raided me, too. No charges. They gave me back my guns. They kept my money. And then they gave me back my money minus my uh, coin collection, which was valued over $3 million. A coin collection well, there, valued yeah. at $3 million. And they haven't given just it took back. It. They just mm. took it. Well, that's because that's what they do. They that, This is not, nothing more than just out-and-out out stealing. No charges. Right. Uh, I'm not ready to uh, believe everything that Abe says. Like, if you've had a chance to look at the the um, the murals, Abe might be crazy. 
<laughs> the, so he might, yeah, he might be. Yeah, uh, you guys do yourself a favor. Stop what you're doing. Get on Facebook and look at this because we can't even describe <laughs> these paintings. I mean, well, they're, he's got one depiction. Wow. My favorite, I think, the one that really stands out. I don't, favorite is not shouldn't be the right term here. The one that really stands out to me is uh, the picture of a Hasidic Jew um, doing uh, like some branches of Hasidic Jews use their mouth full of wine to mm -hmm. finish up the circumcision of young boys. Meaning they put the boys' junk in their mouth and uh, do something with Yeah, it's it. pretty Swish. controversial that they It's pretty they controversial, kiss, yeah. They kiss the baby. And he it's like a blessing. seems to have a real problem with not just Israel, <laughs> but like he, it seems like Jews too, you know? It does and, seem that way. Yeah, and so I'm not... When he says that his coin collection was valued at $3 million, I'd like to hear what he said back in 2011 about how much it was worth. Well, are because you denying that his coin collection was stolen by the FBI? I can't deny anything. Does it sound unbelievable to you, no, given that you know the DEA and other federal and local state agencies have been known to go into various different marijuana shops and steal all their cash and marijuana and never give it back? I mean, this sounds right along that same M.O., Oh, I wouldn't doubt for a second that he's lost things he didn't get back. Yeah. However, my experience, besides my experience to see that the federal government will come in and break into people's businesses, take their stuff and not give it back, also is that crazy people might exaggerate and that people that would draw pictures Fine. like this... What's that? Fine. So he's exaggerated. It's only worth $300,000. Who cares? Know. They still stole his coin collection. And I don't care if the guy's crazy. He doesn't deserve to be treated like this. No, he doesn't deserve to be treated like that. I wouldn't claim that he does. It's just that the he may be a racist too, but he still doesn't deserve to have his store raided uh, over his beliefs. The facts. Uh, one one needs to question the facts in the case as they are presented by Abe. Is all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's all we got right now There's, because no, the FBI is not commenting. The, the FBI is not commenting, so you don't have a news story. All the news story is is that his ha his shop was raided, and the video was provided by him, and the commentary track was provided by him. Well, so he's that's got all video. you've got. Video's proof. But I'm curious why they actually raided it, because I still haven't found yeah. that in the story. No, I mean, no these, one knows. These pictures are a little crazy town, but they're, uh, they're definitely shouldn't be illegal or raidable. I... I question to think if they're just going to raid him and then turn up something later and say oh you see this is why we raided him i mean you some know? of this stuff is uh it's pretty interesting right like uh i mean obviously he he seems to have a problem with jewish people but at the same <laughs> time he's got a problem with the war on iraq as well and uh he's got this weird picture about jesus the faces of jesus to jews he's a bastard who's in hell to christians he's a god to muslims he's a prophet son of an honorable woman let's get this straight ends the sign Right. So so Jews Jews are bad. the ones that have a problem with Jesus but nobody else is that what it's saying? That's the idea. Yeah. And he's um he's got another one down there that says hey Jews while you were going off placidly to uh the death camps uh, my father was fighting for your freedom. Why don't you give him his property back in the uh, Holy Lands? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like the guys the guys a lot of fun at parties, I'll tell you. <laughs> Well, you know, he should have the right to express himself on his I own property. I don't disagree with that. Yeah. And uh, and the city shouldn't be able to tell him to make his sign smaller. And the Because these are obviously not advertising his business. <laughs> if anything, it's going to probably hurt no, his business. I would think it would drive away a lot of business. I right. mean, these are... I can't imagine going to a gas station. Well, maybe I would just to see the signs. I don't know. I'm that kind of person, but yeah. I, I would. Uh, I think normal people would be driven away from this. Well, he's obviously still in business after uh, five years since his or six years since the last raid uh, that apparently happened to him. It's but not completely running him out of business. Yeah, I would like to know, you know, what the reason was for this. Why are they doing this this raid? Because we know that in the case of the there's a local head shop we mentioned earlier in the show tonight, Fat Stuff. They went in there, they raided fat stuff. They also did not make arrests, but they later made the arrest. So they didn't make arrests on that day. They waited a few months, I believe it was. What did they and actually then, arrest them for? Oh, Do you remember? boy. I don't recall the charges offhand. Some sort of paraphernalia distribution oh, charges. Okay. Seems like it's something like that. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Some kind of federal paraphernalia distribution charges. And so they don't always make uh, make an arrest the same day. So like, oh, there was a, the Jared guy, the subway Jared guy. You've heard about that? Where yeah, he had his... You know, allegedly, he had some child pornography. They went and they raided his house. In connection with is what the claim was, I believe. Well, they raided his house. They took all of his stuff. And now they're looking through his computers to see if he actually does have 
what they believe that he has, right? So they have not yet charged him criminally with anything. He's just sort of sitting out there in limbo, waiting for something to happen, waiting for the next shoe to drop. Uh, conspiracy so to, to offer drug paraphernalia for sale and one count of the conspiracy to commit money laundering is the uh, That's charges. the fat stuff charges? Yeah. Those charges, by the way, are going to court later this year. Hopefully we'll have more updates on that case because I was actually there for that raid and got a lot of uh, the footage of that happening here, which hadn't really happened anywhere else. The DEA was doing hundreds of raids on the same day, coordinated attacks on various different uh, cannabis shops and such, uh, and also accessories shops, smoke shops, basically, around the country. And so this was one of those, and it was the most well-covered of all of the 200-something raids uh, that they did. So we'll keep you in the loop as that develops over at freekeen.com. And maybe we'll hear more about Abe Ayad and his gas station, why it was that the FBI came in, held him and his employees at gunpoint. Because you can see it, you know, it's a raid. So they went in there with no a good reason for that. With a dozen cops all decked out, and, uh, and then they t- what took his money, and then left. Nobody arrested. H- how how is this okay with anybody? I mean, look, I know the guy's not a good guy. He doesn't seem like a good guy. I'll give you that. I don't but, know. I, I, look, I I haven't. I don't know what his claims are or anything like yeah. that. But I can tell you, as somebody who's you know partially Jewish. Mm, I yeah I, like I I hear some of his complaints and I'll bet that uh, some of them are valid. On the other side, it's like attacking all Jews doesn't make much no, sense. That's racism. Eight fifty five four fifty free or bigotry certainly. Eight eight five five four. Well, Jew, Jewish is also a race and a religion, right? It's an ethnicity and a religion. Yeah. What's the difference between an ethnicity and a race? Um, the, the races don't really even exist. Okay, but so, ethnicity does. Yes. Okay. More coming up here in moments. This is Free Talk Live. This is a life-changing message for anyone with sleep apnea who is on the go and tired of dragging around a big, bulky home CPAP device. MiniCPAP.com now offers a portable device that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. For even more freedom, you can add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. It's called the Transcend Mini CPAP. And right now, you can try it risk-free for 21 days by calling 1-800-939-8536. Transcend is the world's first portable mini CPAP device. It gives you the freedom to sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever. Transcend is so small and so light you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. Call minicpap.com now for your 21-day in-home trial. 1-800-939-8536. That's 1-800-939-8536. Healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease. And a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed the results I have with your product. I've suffered with thoughts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking One World Whey, I noticed a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound tub I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. 
Go to SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. And use the promo code SILVER2015 for 30% off of your entire order. And give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. In the U.S. alone, a home invasion occurs every 13 seconds. On top of that, the average response time for 911 is over 15 minutes. That just won't cut it. Don't allow yourself or the important people in your life to be victims. When seconds matter, don't be caught stumbling for your firearm. Get the protection you deserve. Get yourself a hidden holster from hiddenholster.com. It's the original hidden holster. The Hidden Holster is quick, easy, and convenient. It's versatile enough for the home, workplace, or virtually anywhere else you might need it. Have peace of mind with your firearm close by at all times. Go to HiddenHolster.com. That's HiddenHolster.com. If you own a firearm, you need a Hidden Holster. Your protection matters, and self-defense is the best defense. Go to HiddenHolster.com. That's HiddenHolster.com. The original Hidden Holster. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! This is Free Talk Live. You're welcome to join us here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. You can join us online at freetalklive.com and via Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. With you tonight in studio, it's Ian. And Taren P. Lupo. And Mark. The man who owns a Cleveland gas station uh, that is a, as it's been described here in the WKYC TV website, a hotbed of controversy has now uh, been raided by the FBI. His name is uh, I, Abe. Abe, actually. Abe Ayad. And according to the story at WKYC, this is actually, I was just trying to look into this to see if I could find more detail on the FBI raid. There really wasn't much else about it out there. It's a fairly, fairly breaking story. Uh, but there is an older story from May of this year, uh, just sort of about the murals, about the controversy uh, surrounding They're them. controversial. Many passers-by, according to WKYC, are finding the latest message offensive uh, on its billboards. It's just disrespectful, said Amy Hurd of Cleveland. I mean, I wouldn't want my grandbaby to see it, she says. A new mural recently went up at Biggie's Food Mart on East 55th Street and Cedar Avenue, which shows an image of President Obama with a noose near his neck. Benjamin Netanyahu appears to be holding it and has a Hitler mustache. <laughs> Above them are the words from one Jew to another, and written below in Hebrew is, God is the greatest. Owner A. Bayad has been posting similar signs for years and is all too aware of the controversy which follows. He said, I don't really care. What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Well, you could not put the <laughs> images up. It's an option. He said the images help him vent, and the most recent one expresses his views on U.S. relations with Israel. He said those who do not like it do not have to shop <laughs> at his store. Can kiss his butt. <laughs> and, you know, I have a real appreciation for ornery people like this. I mean, I don't appreciate necessarily the messages that he's sending, Uh or the way in which he's sending them, which are kind of offensive, but kind of. Yeah. But you know, if you've got strongly held beliefs, you're gonna offend somebody, and that I can understand. Like I've got people who hate me here in Keene because I speak out about my beliefs, and they don't appreciate that very much. They don't like. There are just some people who don't like an activist, and that's what this guy is. He's an activist with some property because a lot of activists are poor. And they don't have, you know, two dimes to rub together for themselves. This guy, he owns a gas station. So, you know, he's got a little bit of money to where he can uh, put it on the line. And this is also something that's unusual for someone to do is to actually take a risk when they're a business owner. Take the risk of having a position that could be considered offensive as a public business owner. There are a number of business owners who don't want to rock the boat at all. They don't want to be, you know, even though they might agree with, let's say, the liberty viewpoint that we're promoting here. In New Hampshire, 
they don't want to be seen publicly as agreeing with it because, well, they know some customers are going to possibly boycott them. Yeah, that's going to go poorly for that, them, right? And usually we're poking the eye of someone in charge of zoning. You know, like there's always some sort of repercussion when you go after a bureaucrat in power. Right. They could be targeted. Yep. So if it's seen as, oh, well, such and such business is supporting the Liberty community, right. then all of a sudden the fire inspector shows up or the health yep. inspector shows up. And yeah. that right. happens all the time. That's yeah. no joke. So. And they'll, they'll find violations that they never found before all of a sudden. Yeah, once you become part of this vilified underclass... It's not so great. Well, and don't don't think for a moment. I mean, there are a lot of people who will uh, talk about the keen activists here in New Hampshire. We're here as part of the Free State Project, which is the idea of liberty-minded people like us moving to the same geographic area to get active. Some people say, oh, you people in Keene, you've poisoned the well with your antics, They're your very, activism. Very, that may very well be the case. That's I don't know. That's nonsense. Somebody drove by here today and waved and honked at, uh, at the, the studios. I mean, there's plenty of people who like what the activists do in the area. It's just that the ones who hate us are louder. They're more likely to be out and angry about something than the people who like us. They also seem to be uh, have some power. Well, of course, the people in power aren't going to like libertarians. Duh. I mean, it's, why are people surprised about this? <laughs> uh, look, the people who are in power don't want to lose that power, right? And the people who are their friends and their family certainly don't want their friends and family to lose their jobs. So when the libertarians come to town and start winning elections and start, you know, making laws that will overturn government control of things, gee, are you really surprised when those people start to get violent, when those people start to get angry, and when those people start to make up lies about you? Because that's all happened. It's all happened right here in Keene, New Hampshire. And not we just that. There have been all kinds of uh, systemic disenfran- disenfranchisement going on for yeah, years. But, but, you know, don't think it's something that's unique to Keene because it's not. It's a situation that uh, develops whenever the status quo is threatened. And you've seen it. I've seen it in just regular political contests. I believe the uh, lady's name was Sue Jeffers. It was in Minnesota, if I'm recalling correctly. I think it's uh, I think she actually lives in Minneapolis. And she was running, I think, for governor at the time. Please correct me if I'm wrong on this, Minnesotans. I believe Sue Jeffers was running for governor as a libertarian. This was several years ago. And she ran a restaurant, her real business. She's not a politician professionally. She's just a restaurateur who, you know, wanted to run for governor. She got it in her mind that the Libertarian Party was worth joining and promoting and running a political campaign for. So they came after her. All of a sudden, just like I was talking about, the health inspector showed up in her restaurant and, what do you know, found violations that had never existed before. And then all of a sudden it became very difficult for her to run her business. Now, did that happen to coincide? Was it just a coincidence that she was running for political office and then the health inspector shows up and finds, you know, a bunch of violations? Do you think that was just a coincidence? Because it sure doesn't seem like it to me. She wasn't a threat to the system when she was just the lady running the restaurant. I've had uh, city councilors tell me that if they were voting, uh, you know, voting on something, they, you know, they had voted against the police getting some kind of raise or something like that, Mm -hmm. that they got pulled over systemically over and over again as a form of harassment. They told you that here? Um, that that happened to be in Keene, but I've yeah. only lived in a few places, right. Ian. Um, and these are the kind of things you don't get reported in the news. Why? I mean, I don't want to get pulled over even more. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I remember um, when I was in full swing practice, and I was pretty vocal about that. You know, at that time, I was uh, throwing support with Harry Brown, the that, Libertarian uh, presidential candidate. Yeah, Libertarian presidential candidate. I was in a small town and. Just happens that every time, uh, you know, I would come out with hard questions for the candidates. You know, we go to these debates or whatever, and I'd ask questions like, "Is there any law you would ever remove?" And none of them would, you know. Nope, of course, can't think no, of one. Not not I one. I like all the laws. Uh, we every have. every yeah. Is there any tax you'd ever cut? No. Um, all of a sudden, I started getting calls from the health department and the X-ray. You tech, really? Yeah, they would come out and. Even though they, they, you're supposed to have your X-ray equipment every three years examined, and some mm-hmm. reason I was on the schedule every six months. You know, after that, that seems strange. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, and you believe that had to do with your? Well, yeah. I mean, political. the county people call them in, so I obviously you can you can never point the finger and know for sure. No, but that's really not. the no, point. No, but that's that's small town politics. Yeah. And they have the strength to do this, and they don't make any whims about it. I mean, they don't care. Uh, they don't hide it.
they're not going to get taken down no, for it. They're not yeah. going to get nobody's going to do anything about it because they go after the, the business town, people, the, the the good guys, right? right? If they went after the mob, the mob would go go by and shoot up their house and throw Molotov cocktails at them. They're not going to worry about crime. They want dissent. Dissent. Right. So again, as soon as you start to threaten the, the status quo, people are going to get angry. They're going to come at you. 855 450 free. That's the toll free number here. You can share your thoughts on the offensive gas station. It's Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want. Affordable health insurance was the promise of Obamacare, but for many, the government mandate caused more problems than it solved. And I want to tell you about a truly affordable alternative, Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare bypasses doctor and hospital panels, giving you the freedom to choose. 100% coverage up to $1 million per year per occurrence, which includes dental, vision, pharmacy, and holistic care. Call 1-800-714-6993. 1-800-714-6993. 1-800-714-6993 today. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state in back taxes, you know they'll never stop coming after you. With bank levies, wage garnishments, they'll even seize your home or business. The good news? A government program for tax debt forgiveness. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative. I'm Paul Sibley. With U.S. Tax Shield, we can help navigate the new laws, get you protected, and resolve your tax issues permanently. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield now for your free consultation and get a guaranteed quote to resolve your case. Call 800-436-6451. That's 800-436-6451. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Join us 
on the radio waves here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can download Cell 411 for a limited time if you're an iOS user for free. It's my understanding it's only going to be that way for the first week, and it went up on the Apple Play Store or Apple App Store, I think yesterday or the day before that. So it's relatively fresh. Uh, Cell 411, we've been telling you about it. If you're Android users, you've you've had access to it for a couple weeks now. Cell 411, it's a decentralized micro-social network that allows you to manage, create, and respond to alerts and emergencies in real time. You can create an unlimited number of cells or groups of users to alert in case of emergencies. So whatever the emergency happens to be, and even slightly lesser emergencies. So, you know, whether you're being pulled over by police, you need medical help, your car breaks down, maybe you're observing some criminal activity. Maybe you're watch, uh, you're watching the police, which is sort of like observing criminal activity. Uh, they've got both of They've got all those This alerts. isn't just a cop watching app. I mean, no, it's going to be used for lots that. of things. Yeah. Medical uh, alerts, neighborhood watch. But it also has cop watching stuff or cop blocking stuff. So yeah. go into uh, look for Cell 411 for Apple now and Android. Cell 411. It's 99 cents for Android. Apple users, you get it for free for the first week. So don't delay. There's no reason not to get this thing, uh, especially at the free price tag. So go and check it out. You do need to encourage your friends to get it as well. They all have to have the app, and then you can send out an alert to let them know what situation you're in, or you'll receive their alerts, and you can respond directly and then the cell 411 will inform your friend that oh mark is responding to your emergency or whatever and it's very very cool it works already and there's they've got some cool changes and upgrades coming on the horizon as well so lock it in now and you'll get those upgrades as they're released so look for cell c-e-l-l 411 let's go to the phones to the fun jericho in virginia you're on free talk live hello jericho listening to wsvg hey, at mount jackson how y'all doing? Welcome, sir. Hey, I'll be real quick, but uh, you say you can talk about anything you want, so I have to ask you an important question. Yes. I'm kind of poking fun at you here. Y'all play really good music going in and out of your show, but I don't hear Megadeth anymore. I mean, what's up with that? You're letting me down, man. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we decided several months ago that the uh, the old music on Free Talk Live had to go. Uh, it had been a while. It had been a long time that we'd had those old music beds. And ultimately, it was just it was too much of a hassle, sort of on the back end of things, taking the archives of the show and uploading them. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Uh, and what I mean by that is these online systems like YouTube and SoundCloud, they have detection systems that are really an amazing feat of programming, if you, if you think about <laughs> IP it. IP robots. Yeah, they basically, you know, as soon as you upload whatever it is you're, you're uploading, whatever audio... It checks the waveform to see if your wave, or in the case of YouTube, if your video signal matches uh, the signal of a copyrighted work. So if it does match, then it will flag that file and basically block it from being uploaded until you go and right. do something to correct it. So one of the things they'll do on YouTube is sometimes they'll stretch a song. So, or they'll shrink it, right? So if a song is uh, five minutes long and the algorithm matches it to Taylor Swift or whatever, they'll take this Taylor Swift song and they'll stretch it by 5%. So it'll sound a little uh. bit slower. And so therefore the waveform won't match exactly, but it is still the same song and they'll upload it that way. So that's one of the ways they've gotten around it or like reversing yeah. the video pattern or something like that. So that's another way that uh, that they've gotten around it, but you know, it's just it was kind of a pain in the butt to uh, to deal with that. And plus, the other idea was that if we have fewer songs, we used to have dozens of them. If we have fewer songs, then that would be something that would uh, more easily brand the Branding. show. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I was just curious. Love your show. Y'all have fun. Hey, thanks, Jericho. Megadeth still rocks though, so please enjoy them on <laughs> oh, your own yeah. time. The Iron Maiden. I'm definitely an old metalhead from back in the day. So yeah, the, the old. Big Four and Iron Maiden. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Uh, yeah, actually, Derek J was cranking out some Megadeth in his room earlier today. So I'm pretty sure you guys are the only talk show ever to uh, use rejoiners from Megadeth. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna... I don't know. <laughs> you Didn't uh, Savage, Michael Savage, Savage use... did, did he? Metallica. Metallica? Yeah. He did Metallica. I was going to say, you guys have some speed metal that I'm pretty <laughs> impressed with. <laughs> so, yeah, we do have uh, the Rebel Inc. now, and they sound great, you know, and they're Liberty guys, which is cool. I guess Dave Mustaine for Megadeth kind of is a conspiracy kook. 
I did not know that. Wasn't he on Alex Jones at some point? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm pretty sure Alex Jones had Dave Mustaine on his Would show. Would you call Ron Paul that? Because I know point. he's been on Alex Jones, too. Yeah, well, not a coo- and I wouldn't call Ron Paul a conspiracy kook. No, I would not. But yeah. I, I think Dave Mustaine might actually, uh, might actually be in that camp. Anyway, share your thoughts here with us tonight. 855-450 free. Back to the story of the... Uh, the gas station, the offensive gas station with <laughs> some murals that, well, I guess some people don't really like very much, including the FBI. And maybe it was the one with Barack Obama with a noose near his neck. Maybe that was the one that the FBI didn't like. Maybe that was their excuse for coming and raiding the store, given that, you know, they are a little touchy when it comes to possible threats against the president's life. Yeah, I, I would guess. Although, is a picture, uh, you know, a mural... Of Netanyahu holding a noose around uh, Barack Obama's neck. It seems a, like a stretch to call that a threat to the president. Yeah, and the FBI shouldn't be the one doing it anyway. That would be the Secret Service. The Secret Service. Yeah. So, yeah, we still don't know exactly what the raid was for, but there was another story from uh, May of this year just talking about some of the controversial signage that this guy has up and interviewing his customers to see what they thought about it. The author, or the not the author, but the owner of the store says the images help him vent and that the most recent one that he posted expresses his views on U.S. relations with Israel. He says those who don't like it do not have to shop at his store. Customers' views are mixed. Mariketa Adams, who was pumping gas when interviewed, said, I wanted to come scribble it out. Another shopper, John Morgan. Pumping gas. Wow. (laughs) Giving her opinion while pumping the gas. Shopper John. Apparently doesn't understand the value of a boycott. (laughs) <laughs> well but that'd but Mark, be inconvenient Mark. there really is i mean you could argue that there really isn't a real value to boycott i mean there are you, yeah you can spend time and effort boycotting but then if you boycott sometimes somebody else will, buy, will boycott so the people in the community who share his perspective uh, and i'm sure they exist will likely come out to support him extra if they find out someone is boycotting his business. It depends on how much you boycott, right? So it it, it depends on what your uh, your method is. If you put a big boycott together, mm-hmm. um, you attempt to do this, yes, it can turn on you like, like you say. So you're saying do a quiet one? But I, I don't think... It's difficult because I don't think you can boycott everybody who, with whom you disagree, but... Uh, no, you'd be very lonely. At the same time, you know, if you, I, I'm not going to do business with somebody who makes me angry. I mean, she <laughs> says she wants to go over there and scribble it out. Well, sure. I mean, I see where you're coming from, but on the other hand, if she, uh, you know, if she needed gas, it's one of those situations where if his shop is in the right place and you are in the need of gas, then you're going to end up there, right? Sure. Yeah, it's funny how strong people's morals are when there's inconvenience. Customers' views uh, were mixed, including shopper John Morgan, who says, I don't think it's appropriate. Customer Rick Williams defended it as freedom of speech, however. But should it be? Last summer, the store drew attention over a cartoon of a rabbi performing a controversial Jewish circumcision. Ayad said it was his way of protesting sex offenders who are allowed to stay at a nearby rehabilitation center, which is near a school. Though the Anti-Defamation League became involved... Sex offenders rehabilitation school what does this have okay this makes no dip no sense. yeah i don't know what that has to do with the uh, rabbi sucking on the penile area of an infant no no i no, don't either not seeing that the anti-defamation league defamation league was involved at the time but the mural remained licensing agencies including the ohio lottery now remember this is a convenience store and uh, the ohio lottery even looked at whether a moral turpitude clause was broken but no violations were ever found. As for Iyad, businesses continue or business continues to do well, and many of his customers are regulars. One told Channel 3 News, though they disagree with his politics, there are bigger things to worry about than a sign. And customer Amy Hurd said she'd still like to hold a protest over the most recent one. So this guy is a real customer. Amy yep, Hurd wants right. to hold a protest. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us why we pump and pay you, but uh, we're mad. <laughs> All right, we're going to come back. Uh, you can share your thoughts in the remaining remaining moments here of Free Talk Live. we got more on the way. 855 450 free. Looks like Detroit teachers are going unpaid. It's Free Talk Live. Wow. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. 
You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order, KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KATIArmor.com. Come and take it. All right, so suddenly Walmart, eBay, Amazon, everybody wants to ban the rebel flag. Well, the rebel flag is an important part of American history. The rebel flag is still a long-standing symbol of Southern pride and Southern heritage. So if the big retailers want to play into political correctness and try to deny the history of America, let them. Go to ourflags.com. That's our, like rebel, our, the letter R, ourflags.com. Get your rebel flag before they actually do outlaw the things, huh? Ourflags.com. That's ourflags.com. Go now. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while. But once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash. Put it to rest. Get a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. We protect your online image by helping to make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional install. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Join us toll-free. 855-450-FREE. 855-450-450. 3733. Three. With you tonight, you got Ian. And Taryn P. Lupo. And Mark. And we also want to invite you to our website at freetalklive.com. If you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, please become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. Amp, A M P, dot freetalklive.com. And if you're getting online, you need to check out Pro XPN. Great way to protect yourself from people that want to spy on your internet. Habits, like your own internet service provider. You can put a stop to them snooping on you. Also, people trying to sniff out your Wi-Fi packets. ProXPN can help you, and you can just get started for free right now over at proxpn.com slash FTL. 
If you use our discount code FTL50, you'll get 50% off the regular monthly price for the lifetime of your account when you buy an annual account with code FTL50. It breaks down the price to about $5 a month. And with that premium account, you'll get unlimited bandwidth servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. You get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50 and get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. That's proxpn.com slash FTL, code FTL50. So uh, our toll-free number again is 855-450-FREE. Mark, the, uh, the end of the welfare state. Did you have uh, have that story pulled up for us? Yeah, it's um, this is from independent.co.uk. King Wilhelm, I don't, I, Willem, Willem, excuse me, Willem Alexander delivered a message to the Dutch people from the government in a nationally televised address. The welfare state of the 20th century is gone. In its place, a participation society is emerged in which people must take responsibility for their own future and create their own social and financial safety nets with less help from the national government. The king traveled uh, past waving fans in an ornate horse-drawn carriage and to the 13th <laughs> century Hall of Knights in The Hague. By the way, this is a gigantic chair. It's almost the width of like a love seat, but he's sitting in the middle of it. It's a quite a throne. Anyway, uh, it's hard to look good sitting in a throne, just having gotten out of a horse-drawn carriage, mm -hmm. uh, to give your speech about how the government is no longer going to give money to poor people. I've got to say, like that looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, for, for the monarch's traditional annual address on the day of the government uh, presents its budget to the coming year, it was uh, Willems Alexander's first appearance in the national stage since former Queen Beatrix abdicated in April and he ascended to the throne. The shift to a participation society is especially visible in social security and long-term care, the uh, king said, reading out uh, lawmakers' speech written for him by Prime Minister Mark Rutte's government the classic welfare state of the second half of the 20th century in these areas in particular brought forth arrangements that are unsustainable in their current form. Welfare is unsustainable in its current form in one of these places that, um, you know, people who like to say that so socialism works is pointing out. Yeah, that's why this is a surprise to me. I, I was shocked this was a real story given that it's from the Netherlands, right, where— you know, there's, there's apparently a progressive income tax and things like that there, right? Root may be help, hoping that the pomp and ceremony surrounding the king and his popular wife, Queen, queen Maxima, will provide a diversion from the gloomy reality of a budget full of unpopular new spending cuts he's revealed later in the day. Um, this, by the way, is the austerity coming to uh, the Netherlands, and nobody seems to care about them getting hmm. it. The series of recent polls have shown the confidence in Root's government is at record low levels and that most Dutch people, along with labor unions, uh, employers associations, and many economists, believe the cabinet's austerity policies are at least partially to blame as the Dutch economy has worsened even as recoveries are underway in neighboring Germany, France, and Britain. After several consecutive years of government spending cuts, the Dutch economy is expected to have shrunk by more than 1% in 2013. So the suggestion here is that because the government is cutting spending, that the economy is faltering? That is over and over <laughs> what the claim is in these in these things, yes. Oh, man. Um, you know, I mean, uh, the, the, the idea is, is that this is somehow macroeconomics versus microeconomics. I don't know how it is, especially when you're talking about these European states. They can't print their own money the way the United States can. Mm -hmm. This isn't Keynesian economics can't be applied to them because they can't print their own money. And that's really important to apply uh, the, the economic policies of Maynard Keynes. You have to be able to print your own money. And they can't. So they can't do these things um, like the other companies, uh, countries can. They could potentially save money um, to to sort of pump money into the um, – during uh, uh, times of plenty, they could save money and uh, then be able to pump that money back into in lean times if that's what they want. Yeah, what government's ever saved money? Not many. It's not. It's certainly not very common. So anyway, going on, the Participation Society has been on its way for some time. Benefits such as unemployment compensation and subsidies on health care have been regularly pruned for the past decade. 
the regiment age has been raised, excuse me, retirement age, regiment. has been um, <laughs> raised to uh, 67. So it's higher in the Netherlands than it is in the United States. The king said Tuesday some costs for the care that's of the That's what elderly. happens when they start running out of money, right? And that's what they're going to do in the U.S. too. They're either going to cut back the Social Security benefits or they're going to cut back the age, or increase rather, the age at which one could begin receiving those benefits, or both. King said Tuesday some of the some costs for the care of the elderly, for youth services, and for job retraining or after layoffs will now be pushed back to the local level in order to make um, make them better tailored for to local circumstances. The, that makes sense. I mean, if you're going to have a welfare program, it should be administered locally rather than at a state level or at a national level. It's just going to be that much more connected to the people that it's serving. Now, I'm not in favor of government welfare because it's backed by coercion. It's backed by the threat of violence. But I don't have any objection to helping people in need. I donate to the local uh, – there's a privately run homeless shelter here in town, and it's I think great. they do a good yeah. job. And so I give them money every single year. And so a welfare program isn't quite as good as that. But if at the very least the welfare is being done locally, then there's at least more of a chance the bureaucrats will know the people that they're dealing with and they'll have some level of uh, more likelihood to connect on a personal level with them. My favorite part of this article is uh, is here. The king earns an annual salary of around 825 a thousand euros, about a million dollars, one point one million dollars. That's more than the president, right? In the US. Though, yep, yeah, uh, four hundred thousand. Though maintaining the royal house, castles, parades, and all costs the government more than a hundred million euros <laughs> annually. Oh my! Gosh, it's an awesome house. <laughs> it's a kick-ass house, and don't forget the horses. Got to have the horses for the parade and, and all the that carriage. stuff. Man, oh man! Just the costs of keeping up these yeah. these big old houses I bet that you they he, have. Yeah, I bet you he hasn't applied any austerity measures to his house. <laughs> I, well, right? I mean, uh, put the king in a damn double wide. If if he Cut didn't take if he didn't take the uh, the salary, then I mean, the last uh, monarch just abdicated, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, what's it take to keep a person in this? He's not much it's, as far as CEO pay goes. Not much CEO benefits huge. Uh, yeah. But I mean, you no, know, that's what I'm saying.